live. I I clicked the button. I, I'm just kidding. It's just a good funny way to start the stream. Because oh, really? well, it's better than yeah. just starting like halfway through a sentence. Because it's usually me asking, is, are, are we live? But or, now I have the power and I am going to click the button. Or which like I Nick did. halfway through a <laughs> sentence about some bullshit and then we're like, we're live, we're by live. the way. Surprise. So, hi <laughs> everyone. I'm not going to spoil shit. Yeah. No, it, don't worry. I waited. I did. I gave. I gave a little three, two, one, and then I did like the silent one finger. But then I realized you couldn't see it, and you were the one who was talking, and it just it didn't work. Hello, everyone. Welcome hey. back to <laughs> Masks. Oh, I forgot to change the title. Ah, damn it! Oh, every time no! there's always something to change. Always something. Oh, look at this urban shadows. Urban oh, shadows. Man. Our shadows are uh, so urban. What did I call the other one? <laughs> um. The penitentiary. Oh, I gotta like go through here and see what oh. I called it. Oh, it's all broken. No. We're stuck in the clink. No. No, fight me. Do you dude. want to change it to the royal? Fuck, I can't remember the name because it's in character for me not to remember the name. I don't either. <laughs> the just classic technical yeah, issues to go. start the stream. Because it's hey, not a tech. It's, it's not uh, a stream. Royal Court of Justice at the pet. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I just called it the penitentiary. Yeah. <laughs> the penitentiary. The penitentiary. Oh, yeah. Masks. The penitentiary. Session one. Let's see if I can find my dice in this bag. Oh, I spelled penitentiary right first try. Let's go. Yeah, getting it. Ah. That's what we're doing. <gasps> I have two six-sided dice from two completely different sets. Did you steal my dice? Nice. Nice? Oh no, they're, no right there. they're in there. I was like, you didn't just like steal mine and then lose them. No, although I have extras. I gave them to you, thank you. Wow. They are a cherished gift from I know, last that's why session. I was like, wow, she took them <laughs> no, back and I have like, lost them. I have like 32 of them, so oh. if you lose them, we should be good. Yeah, no. I have like one blue dice and one clear dice, and yeah. Anyway, <laughs> welcome back. Don't mind the echo. Welcome back. Perfect. We're here. It's the penitentiary. Everyone's a criminal. But we're trying not to be. Last we just, time, we just break rules. Our heroes met up for the first time and established the Royal Court of Justice, aka the Hero Club. Yeah, name. At, name at name their name. school <laughs> slash penitentiary slash holding cells. Um, yeah. Yeah. So we we were introduced to Jack Masters. Say hello. Hi, I'm Jasters. 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 Nice. Did it cut out or something? Yeah, I'm Jasters. <laughs> okay. Perfect. You're the you're the bull. Your name is Replica. Your love is Heart Frost, and your rival is Nova Lion. I'm I'm just gonna say it since you you didn't. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> and today we also These have all the things that I am. <laughs> we also have our delinquent Mirage. Uh. That's the hero name. The actual name is Celeste Golden with an I. Not with also, e. a little picture of of, of my travel icon to show that I'm there. <laughs> oh yeah. We should change the sidebar to just a grinning picture of Nick going. <laughs> yeah, that would be weird. Yeah. <laughs> we should totally do it. Um. Okay. So yeah. Uh, my powers are, uh, gadgetry and hacking, and then. But I can't make an illusion of something I have never seen. And then missing today is uh, Victoria Flores, the mystic princess, magical girl, <laughs> doomed. Let's think of adult. That was total uh, gibberish. Say yeah. it again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Never mind. Nothing. Okay. I hear clicking. I didn't. I, I, didn't, I didn't say anything. Oh. You you said something and yeah. it came out as total uh, gibberish and then you. Oh, I swear, I wasn't, I wasn't opening my mouth. Oh. Oh, oh by the way, that's a picture that you should upload to represent me. Okay. So that represent my little trouble. <laughs> Alright, so the, the team met and they fought the, the Gigglers, Gaggle of Googly Goons. Yes. Oh my god. I love that. Um, <laughs> yeah, we can tell. <laughs> and, yeah, and there were consequences for that. And then last time, that was how, like, the team first, first met. And then last time, you guys faced off with Ash a couple times. Ash Manning, mysterious purple ball user. And 
And you sort of found out some secret stuff. Yeah, there was cloning, and he's a super weapon, and it's all very spooky. And you straight up murdered the buzzard, which you guys yeah. thought were going to just take out. Yeah, one. no. Low, low time criminal, like, oh, let's go fight the buzzard. Yeah. Blam. Oh, yeah, we, in jail. We, needed, we needed the buzzard for something else. He straight up murdered a guy, and I, and he also made me feel bad about myself, which was really the true pain and suffering of, of the session. And I, and I ticked him off. And the DM, too. <laughs> <laughs> it was a party for everybody involved. I think I just let the session go too long. It happened. I wanted it to be, like, at least, like, three hours. I wanted it to be a good, meaty, like, first session zero. Hey, but I two think hours it, is a respectable it, time. It's wrong a little. <laughs> <laughs> and and I wasn't super prepared, and you guys were nosing around, and I was like, stop, go away. Stop it with your character here. Stop. I didn't it's plan long. how you guys would fight stop this. Stop it with your player character <laughs> bullshit. But now I'm super prepared, so yeah, get fucked. I mean, no. <laughs> it shows what you know, we're gonna go in a completely different direction. No more rails! No more rails! <laughs> oh my god. You, I did not buy a ticket. I will definitely find a way to make you encounter stuff no matter what you do. I, no. have, I have like six <laughs> different plans floating in my head. I know how to get you guys to do stuff. <laughs> I'll guess what you're trying to get us to do, and I'll try to do it. He knows Someone's gonna fucking, like, shoot at you and be like, hey, attack me, and then you'll have to fight them. He knows my one weakness. Emotional intimacy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so so our, our player for Mystic Princess is absent, so she's gonna have a secret episode where, where we actually go over why she's missing. Ooh, the unplanned stuff. She, she tried to kidnap yeah, it's extremely convenient that she has a nemesis. She got the nemesis? Yeah, yes, that's like the of, whole point. It's part of the doomed thing. Her best uh, friend tried to kill her, so she was like, bye, bitch. Nice. And now she's back. <gasps> dun, dun, you guys dun, dun, don't know that. You guys don't know that. It's Try to kill her. It's extremely secret. Okay. So, you guys come back from Ash's place. Well, where you place. where you met Ash, I guess. Not it's not that's not where he lives. You you come back from <laughs> Good the decoration nice. was terrible. Good, good start. Terrible. You, you come decorating. back from, from this weird <laughs> laboratory thing. Um and uh Jack Masters, you notice that you have a couple missed calls from your friend Sandra. Oh let me uh let me let me see those messages. They're not messages, it's just a couple missed calls, that's it. Okay, let me call her back. <laughs> wow, this feels like a game of Urban Shadows. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. <laughs> ring, ring. Hello, baby. I mean, Jack Bass is here. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to cash in a debt with you. I got this guy, I need to sell his arm back on. Okay, so, so you, you call her and it goes immediately to voicemail. I'm, I'm gonna text her then. Okay. What are you gonna text her? Hey Sandra, what's up? Why did you call me? Are you are you okay? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No no response. Oh alright, well let me switch my phone then. Apparently my my uh Discord's not good. No, I, I heard you. I just said no response from the text. Oh no. Uh hmm. Do, do I know if she has, like, a, a holding cell near mine? No, you guys have, like, apartments. It's... <laughs> no, we were former criminals. No. I, I was not... Oh. A... I, I was not. <laughs> Whatever. It just... You don't... You're not living in a fucking prison. Only this high-end criminals like Ash are in... Holding yeah, cells. only the designer criminals. Like Calvin Klein. Yeah, we're just we're just like uh, we're just henchmen. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Hmm. So now what should I do? I kind of want to figure out something. Eh. Okay, I'll uh, I'll give her another call in like two minutes. Um. Yeah. Nothing. So. So she's definitely dead, and I should give up on 
Yeah, I killed your love in the second episode. Surprise! So, we can just make it the next day, if you want. Is there anything yeah. else? I mean, I, I'm just going to tell you right now, calling her for the rest of the night is not going to do anything. I... Okay. So in that case, I'm going to watch some videos of the Olympics and learn how to do gymnastics. Nice. I actually, since I left earlier uh, than the rest of my team, uh, I'm going to actually start trying to rig up a gadget that deflects Max's, or Ash's, purple orbs of bullshit. Okay. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> He's on his way. It's Tom. <laughs> oh, man. Cat! I'll trace the cat. The <laughs> Don't worry, I just fucking woke up the cat for you. <laughs> Oh, he looks so oh, he's helpless. so cute! Aw, oh, Jeezy Pete's! Alright. Oh, um, look at that kitty. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna put some of my gadgetry- gadgetry- I can say words. Nice. Gadgetry skills to the test. I don't have anything that I super roll- I guess that'd be Unleash My Powers, probably? Or do I just make it? Uh, yeah. Actually, I'm gonna say that you guys both have to unleash your power. Alright, cool. I love rolling. It gives me potential. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. You guys are gonna be rolling with potential. So. Ooh, goody. Oh, we both have to roll, yeah? Yep. Yep. Mally, yep. I trust you to roll for me. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, fuck the GM rolls. He jumped away. Um, so that's a four plus three... <laughs> Zero. Wow. I rolled a four for myself. <laughs> and a six plus whatever your freak is for you. My freak is plus one. Yeah! I didn't fail seven. you. <laughs> Which means you I got a seven. I can either mark a condition or say how it's temporary. I'm gonna mark a condition. Nice. This to be angry. I'm annoyed with that freaking Ash Jet jerk. Hey off. guys, I only need one more thing to go up and to go up and get an advancement. Wow, really? Yes, I failed a Dude. lot of rolls last session. <laughs> All yeah. my hacking for naught. That's true. You failed like everything. I failed before. everything. I'm such a failure. You're not a hacker. I, I am a hacker. It was just a very stressful situation. Okay. Maybe you weren't using your best hacker voice. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. Not in hacker voice. <laughs> okay. So it's the next day. You do your thing. You you marked uh, angry. You said. And now you can do Olympic gymnastics. Surprise. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I, there's gonna be a lot of conditions marked. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I encourage you guys to talk to each other, because. Yeah. Like, no, I, I, I will. I'm going to top it out. With, it, it'll be good. I don't know if there's anyone that has good mundane, though, so you may just have to, like, bang it out. I have but a plus one in if mundane. You, if you fail the rolls, then you, you get, get more potential. Yeah, so, so, it's, you know, it's kind of, it's, yeah. you know, win-win, da. Um, so, oh, yeah, another thing I wanted to ask you guys is, um, about player characters, I mean, uh, NPCs that you guys have introduced to me. <laughs> Um, okay. Yes. How how hard do you want me to grab the reins on it? Because I I don't want to just like swing them in a totally different direction than what you guys had initially planned for them, and sort of like I don't know, drive them in a totally different direction or like make them annoying or something. So if there's I don't know, it, like how much how much free reign do you want me to have with them? Do you want me, like if there's any I don't know. Go Take them, run with them, as long as my roommate is a shitty roommate that is in character. Okay. <laughs> what was her name? Frostburg is meant to be Amber, okay? <laughs> Just promise me that, okay? <laughs> Just promise me nobody's Amber. Okay. I No, I wouldn't. Is her name Hannah? I feel like that was... Make her vaguely roommate. like oh, My roommate's Hannah. Hannah Daniels. What's that? Make her vaguely likable, please. Okay. Well, then... Okay, how do you feel about me assuming things for things you haven't told me? 
Like, outside of that, yes. can I can I sort of just, like, say, like, well, you, you didn't say anything for this, so I'm just going to say that they're like this. I'm down with that. Like, for example, you have a friend that's not a super Elliot. Yeah. Okay, so I, can I just, like, make up a profession for him? Yeah. Okay. Well, then I'll be doing that. Perfect. Does he have a last name? Uh, not Smith. <laughs> um, it's not a very good last name. Well, Elliot Smith is a... Bingle Bangle. The Smiths. No. Elliot Handler. <laughs> Handler? Professor Handler. H A N D L E R. Like, like a Lemony Snicket, nice. the author's. Real. I hardly knew her. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Savoha coming in clutch with the uh, actual memory. <laughs> so, now that that's, that's sorted out, it's the next day. Dun dun dun. You go to school. Well, so, I'm gonna pop by. Uh, by Sandra's apartment real quick before I go to school. Okay. Knock at the door. Knock oh, knock. Who is it? It's her voice. Hey! Uh-oh, it's her voice. Hey! I was just asking my school and I saw you called me earlier. I'm not gonna do her that high-pitched voice because it's gonna drive me nuts. Um, <laughs> is that what girls sound like to you? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So... Hi, I'm Sandra. <laughs> I like cute boys. Oh my god. And shopping. Oh my god, no. <laughs> yeah, I, I called you last night because I wanted to hang out, um, but then you, I, my phone call didn't go through. I think maybe you were somewhere with ser without service or your phone was dead or something. Um, so I ended up hanging out with Nova Lion instead. Um, <laughs> and then, and then my phone died, so... <laughs> Sorry, I didn't get to, like, it wasn't fully charged until, like, 3 in the morning. You know, it takes a long time to charge sometimes. Uh, it's cool. Remember it, the, the buzzer? No. You know, small time criminal, we had to deal with him, like, once and he sat and he dragged in his face. You guys, were, did you guys fight together or something? I'm a, to, I, I, what, Mr. DM is asking you. Oh, you're the DM, as in we fought, fought the buzzard? No, we just, like, you we, guys were we both hired him together? to steal something. We hired him to steal something. We didn't fight together, so much as, like, he, he was hired. Okay. For, for our boss's work. Gotcha. Oh, that guy. Yeah, he's dead. Oh. Well, yikes. No, like, some kid from our school killed him. Really? You know that weird dude, Ash? What's his name, a Ash? Wow, how dare you make fun of my darling sunshine. She's not saying that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you know. I, I hate that guy. He yeah, he's looking... Blasted him with like this weird purple energy ball. Yeah, he's scary. Yeah, I think we have all to watch ourselves around that one. <laughs> okay. Are you guys anyway, like... let's, let's go to school. And... <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, keep, keep an eye on this Ash character. Okay. <laughs> you guys are so mean. <laughs> okay. So, you guys doing anything before class? Um... Let me look real quick. I got three conditions that, that, that need a clearing. Before class. <laughs> that was oh, I also had a minus two to unleash my powers, whoops, so that was actually a two that I rolled. <laughs> Yikes. Mm. Yikes. Extra fail? Uh, yeah. It wasn't a critical failure, though, and that's what's really important. Ooh, what if you got two potential on a critical fail? Mm, I like it. It's like a it's a crit, but in the wrong way. So like something really awful happens, but it's super good for you for the future. <laughs> I learned so much. It's like I when, learned so much from how bad I was. It's like in Scott Pilgrim. I feel like I learned something when he dies. You learn more from bigger mistakes. Yeah. Okay. 
So, yeah, are you doing anything before class? Uh, I'm gonna look for Princess Glitter Sparkles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My best buddy. You mean Mystic Princess. I mean, are they not the Victoria same? Victoria Flores, yes. magical girl. <laughs> I'm looking for Victoria. <laughs> She's nowhere to be found. Oh, that's weird, because usually, you know, we meet up before class. Ooh. I sent her a text message. Oh, she hasn't responded. Ooh, I don't like that. This has me worried. I send a good text message to our uh, fellow hero club. Hey, have you heard from the uh, president or princess, I guess, of our Bones club? So Why have she been embezzling funds? Phones are so annoying. <laughs> I hate to be like, no, the phone doesn't work. Because it doesn't. You can't talk to her right now. It's fine. She doesn't have to respond I to know, but I feel message. like I'm just... Like you said, I feel like I'm just railroading. No, 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 no. Not everybody's going to pick up the phone all the time. Yeah. <laughs> no, so, uh, I, but that does get me worried. That gets me very worried, because usually she's, like, 3,000 emojis, or emojis, if we're continuing that, <laughs> in, in, in her text messages, immediate response. So I text, uh, <laughs> Nick, what's your character's name again? <laughs> Jack. Jack Masters. Jack. Jack. I text Jack. And I say, hey. The other question is, what's up with your name? Replica. Replica. Yeah, there you go. What do you, what do you say? Oh, I, I, I just say what I said earlier, which was, have you seen our club president, or I guess princess, yet today? Uh, no, but I also own a stock here. Oh. I have, you know, our first class with her, so I can see. Okay. Let me know, all right? Oh, right, I forgot to describe the cover. Oh, yes! So, for the cover, you see a mysterious-looking woman with an evil-looking grin on her face. Ooh, I don't like and her. And a light-blue, like, suit on. Is it? And she's leaning on a very intricate-looking cane. But, like, she's kind of, like, darkened because there's a bunch of bright lights behind her. And you can sort of see those weird clone machines behind it. I hate her already. Ugh. Damn. Walking in the spider webs. Alright, All yeah, so I'm just gonna head to class. She's super powerful. Yeah. She can handle herself. Probably. Oh, well, maybe yeah, she's just and... sick. You know, or yeah, it well, happens. She's in, she's in my first first class of the day. I'll check in on her. You guys are all in the show. Well, yeah, yeah. We're, you guys we're are all in the same, same classes class. all day. Oh. It's like it, okay. It's like an anime. Yeah. Yeah. The most the most see. Yeah. I sit in my usual spot. <laughs> I look forlornly over at her empty seat because I miss my buddy because I'm feeling really shitty. <laughs> yeah, the classroom feels awfully quiet without her. Yeah. I've had a bad day. I really want a cosmic brownie and she's always packing extras. Nice. I get a cosmic brownie. Mm -hmm. I get it. Oh no no no, but I am planning on flinging myself into easy relief after class. Wow. Okay. I have I have hopeless. I gotta I gotta clear that shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, you talk to talk to me. I mean Who does that? I Your mean... team members. <laughs> Yeah, you guys need, like, an actual hideout to hang out in and do whatever and, like... Yeah. <laughs> and not the sanctuary? Because apparently everyone and their mother knows that location. Right? Well, they just know the outside. Yeah. They can't get in. They don't know the secret magic password. Yeah. Um, move the boulder. The boulder is conflicted. <laughs> <laughs> you beat me to it. The reference jar. <laughs> Alright, put a quarter in the reference. <laughs> so, yeah, um... Okay, so... I'm just gonna kind of wait. I, I visibly just look miserable. I didn't do any of my usual flashy makeup. My hair is done very simply, and... I'm just... I'm in class, but I'm not really there. I'm very aggressively... Like, standard pencil. Aggressively experimental. 
<laughs> Spinning a pencil. Spinning a pencil. Okay. Such aggression. Are you aggressively doing Olympic gymnastics? Okay, so... <laughs> aggressively uh, black not, flips not. out of the classroom, <laughs> middle fingers in the air. So, Miss Riversea walks in the room, you know, bag over her shoulder because she's cool. And, um, didn't I say that she was, like, smoking? Uh, like the yeah. Person? Okay, yeah. Yeah. Man, she's cool! She's Cigarettes are cool. not cool, kids. Yeah. Don't smoke. Don't listen to the I, camera. I forgot, I need to, like, look up here for the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Don't smoke, kids. So, so she comes in and she says, all right, today we're going to actually do some training today. So, if you guys will open your textbooks, you all have textbooks. I do. I open it. They're conveniently placed underneath your desks, because this is like fucking elementary school. They don't trust us with shit. Nice. So today we're going to talk about the source of your powers. And this is how it works. Blah 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 blah. Training montage. <laughs> Except is, with words. With words. So I think that that's like a teaching montage, maybe. Teaching Everyone looks dejectedly bored and yet concerned about the missing seats. Ash isn't there either. I have a theory as to why. <laughs> Never would have guessed. Yeah. It's not like They're begging in a closet. It's not like I said he'd be gone for a week or something. They're banging in a closet. Yeah. Maybe loped. <laughs> Ash is not he's really in the pink. Nice. Lecture montage, yeah. Perfect. So, you guys get lectured, and everyone gets the mark potential. Yeah! I get the advancement! Yes! Yeah, it's just the three of us today. Jelly's uh, mom is in town, so she's hanging out with her instead. Mm hmm. How much? It, how many advancements do you have? Or I mean, uh, how much potential do you have, Nate? I have four potential. Ooh. As a result, after the lesson. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and unlock my moment of truth. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that just like a find... That's like a one-time use thing, right? Um. Yeah, I think so. I think, it, I think it's so an, too. you have to get an adult move where you can use it whenever. Yeah. But yeah, no, I feel like narratively, it's... So my moment of truth, by the way, for the viewers is, this is when you show them what you really are. Whether you're the hero underneath the rebel facade or someone who can make the hard choices heroes can't make. You do whatever it takes to show that truth, whether it's saving the day from a terrible villain or stopping a bad guy once and for all. Of course, once you've shown what you really are, there's no going back to playing the clown. Oh, everyone's gonna remember that you were badass. Yeah, they are. Plus, I feel like there's just going to be a lot of hard decisions in the future, and I need to be the one to make them. Because Princess, Mystic Princess, is not going to be the one to make them. You just got called out. Damn. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing we don't have her today, because she's like overflowing with personality, so you guys get to flesh out your characters more. Yes! I love it. And I get to flesh out your side characters. Yeah! She only has Double one. Shit. And she gets to have a whole session for her and her own side characters. Ah, shit. Are you doing one, like, during the week? Or? Yeah, it'll be like a point five. Nice. I'm gonna try to do it. And I'll try to do the um, the recap for that other Urban Shadows video as well, so Ooh, we can okay. do that. Sweet. You don't, you don't have to um, be there if you don't want. Um, okay. I think it'll probably just be me and Jelly be able to do the recap, because we'll have to do, you know, the stream too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, whenever Jelly's off, it'll probably, because I have work Sunday, Monday, and then We'll do Urban Shadows on Tuesday, so it'll probably be like Wednesday, sometime between Wednesday and Friday, probably. Oh, but then Nick's coming back on Friday. So hopefully Wednesday or Thursday. I don't know when Jelly works, so we'll have to work something out. But yeah. I don't think she works on Wednesdays. That's the plan. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there we go. So maybe Wednesday. We'll talk it over. Tentatively. Tentatively. Bonus stream on Wednesday. Woo! Episode 1.5. Nice. <laughs> splitting, sl splitting the party, episode 1. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> working with two players. Yes. All right. So, so, so you, you mark potential, and then you know there's just gym class the rest of the day. Oh goody. Nothing, okay. Nothing important happens. During uh, the I I kick ass in it. Nice. During the inevitable dodgeball game, I just sit behind the like mats that are kind of piled in the corner and send out an illusion that just kind of moves around. 
physical lazy, activity. lazy delinquent. Physical activity is meanwhile, not my strong Meanwhile, suit. this guy's like training to be like, I'm gonna be the best at this. Yeah, well, the delinquent's not so much lazy as she's more focused on trying to find out everything she can about Ash while she's sitting behind that mat right. on her phone. Why don't you tell him you love him then? I don't so love him. him. I want to impress him, and also he killed a guy. <laughs> Brick killed a guy with a trident. <laughs> Rick killed a guy. <laughs> Reference jar, I know. <laughs> yeah. I, took. I need to keep. I had all these dimes out, but I was like playing with them last session, so I had to put them all away because I knew I'd just be like clicking playing them with the them forever. Okay. All right. So freak out. So you can talk to Heart Frost or Nova Lion if you want. <laughs> you can talk to Nova Lion. Yeah. Sure. This guy. Does so, he hate you, or is he just kind so, of a show-off jerk? Uh, do like, hate me, hate me? Right? Because it, the reasons he might have been, like, it's like, far off. Then he's hanging out with her, then he doesn't. I probably just put him in the wrong way. Okay, you should... Just, like, show off it better than me. I think you need to switch to your phone, because you're kind of, like, cutting out every other word. Yeah. Alright, where's my phone? Oh, and is he like? Oh, I probably already left. That's where it goes. Yeah, right. Hello, <laughs> uh, I'm on the phone. Hello, Nick. <laughs> so uh, I have. So, uh, yeah, just. Like I was saying. What? Just, just re-explain everything you said. About Nova Lion. Okay, so Nova, all the reasons Nova Lion might not have liked me are the same reasons that Nova Lion like Heart Frost. But if he is okay with Heart Frost, then he's kind of okay with me. He just wants to, you know, prove himself better. Okay. So he looks down on you because you're like a criminal, basically? So is Heart Frost, though. No, I mean, I'm asking you. Well, he, he used to. He's probably gotten over it, but still sees me as, like, a rival. Okay, that's fair enough. And you said he kind of, like, looks like a lion all the time? No, he can turn into, like, this sort of lion form. Okay, cool. A rare lion form. Good. Sweet. Okay, so I'm gonna go up to him. I'd, I'd like to talk to him. Okay. Hey, Nova Lion. Hey... Shit, what was, his, what was his actual name? Did I write it down? <laughs> Derek Johnson. Is it? Yeah, I have it written down. Derek Johnson. Yeah, probably because I asked you and you made it up on the spot, so that's why you don't remember. <laughs> the NPC's battle cry, you made up my name on the spot and that's why you don't remember. <laughs> hey, Derek. Hey. Jack. So hit the road, Jack. You know Don't that, come back no more. You know that Ash dude. That Ash kid. Yeah, what about him? He's not here in class today. He's got your power set. Does he? Yeah, super strength. Uh, shoots energy blasts. No, oh, he can fly though. I mean, he doesn't change into a lion. Sounds like not my power set then. Well, it's pretty close, but the thing is, he killed someone. Right, killed like, again. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're never gonna be able to <laughs> I, see that. I just love it. You guys are just going around telling. I so, don't. So kill a guy. <laughs> I am not. This is a Nick only thing. Jack is the only one no. who's like, I. Oh my god, he killed a guy. No. Well, hang on. Der Derek and and Sandra are very important to me, and I want to. I want them to watch themselves around this murderous maniac. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you hate my NPC. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, fuck Ash. I'm angry at her. My, my anger is a condition. <laughs> oh, okay. So. He's like. Oh. Wow. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I think, I think he's a plant. 
We should watch out for him. Like a ficus? <laughs> yeah, he kind of looks like no, a person like to me. <laughs> like a, you know, like a former villain or an actual villain or a current villain. Just one I've not run into before. Isn't that what you are, though? Yes. Get but he wasn't arrested. Or he wasn't... We don't have, like, an official record on this guy. So he could be, like, in here to, I don't know, bust out a bunch of criminals or something. And as of now, the school doesn't know what his power set is. They might think he's got, like... I don't know. We can pick locks real good or something. Are you sure? I mean, the way that the teacher kind of stopped him from attacking, it seems like she really knew what his powers were. Mm. I don't know, but I also don't think they know that he's a killer, and that he's get, that he regularly gets out of, you know, the solitary confinement that he's supposed to be in. He does? Holy shit. Well, he was out yesterday. Damn, alright, well, you know, I'll, you know, be on toes around him, I guess. Yeah, be careful, dude. Thanks, dude. Yeah, so I'm off in the corner doing some research about Ash. Nice. Yeah, do I find anything out? The name doesn't show up anywhere. What if I hacked into the school system? What if he hacked into the mainframe? I actually wouldn't try it, though, probably because my powers have been failing me every time I've tried to use them. And okay, I'm feeling hopeless, so that that suits it. Yeah, so I'm just kind of doing surface-level research. It's not a lot. You've never... There, like, no one... There's no information on that, on that name at all. Alright. Alright. Cool. <laughs> Cool. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So this was like a PE, I guess, right? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so I guess I'll I guess I'll shoot Celeste a text and be like, should we like try to figure out where Mystic Princess is? Uh yeah, probably a good idea. You guys are such pain in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> Any, anyone else's session, you're just like, oh, so-and-so is off doing their own thing for a week. Now it's like, oh, we have to poke his buttons and be like, what are you going to do, Matthew? What are you going to do? I care about my friend. You can't dangle that she's not here. How am I supposed I... to play your character when she's not uh, here? No, she's... I need a cosmic brownie. Uh, God on. damn it. It's also, there's, it's also, there's only like two of us, so we need like something to do. It's not so easy to go off on tangents and deal with whatever shenanigans like one of our other stuff. Members. Okay. It's not like you know where so, the back door to a facility is or anything. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, say like, okay, where do you want to meet? All right. Well, after class, I think we should meet. Um, how about near this um, Johnny Jim's uh, sandwich place, and then we'll head over to that. We'll head over first to the sanctuary. And then second to that lab thing. Okay. But I, I notice Ash isn't here either. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that sounds good. Alright, so we go, we meet up. He probably killed her. He's a real asshole. Hey, don't say that. Sad face. He, he the GM wouldn't kill someone in session one, right? Uh, he, he, he did kill someone just yesterday. That yeah. was session zero. And, yeah. he, and he attacked us. Yeah. And made up some bullshit excuse once we, you know, knocked him out of the sky. I mean, yeah, but... It's the same he didn't just, like, uh, decide well, to pick us off one by one. Uh, okay, dude. Our, our, I mean, I, I think our girl can hold her own, though. She's, like, super powerful. Yeah. Well, we'll see. <laughs> it's not like I'm going up against him. Can't do anything right. Wow. You I, know... I think you're not giving yourself enough credit. Is that you were very helpful in the fight in the fight against Ash. Is that, that a, you know? Is that, is that comfort, attempt, or comfort or support. support? That sounds like comfort or support to me. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Roll, bitch. So I was gonna finish it before I was gonna roll. Oh, okay. Oh. And I think actually I'm the bitch that's like, rolling. 
you were you were a real big help during you know when when we were fighting Ash and when we had to track down like where this warehouse was. You know, you helped both times then. Just because like one security system, and, you know, was was hard, and you know he couldn't get in either. Just because of that doesn't mean that you can't do anything. I'm touched, but how touched am I? Okay, but how much do I roll? Wait, you don't question. Roll. I've got a like, higher plus zero. Right, I know. Zero. I know. I'm rolling for him. What is what is your mundane? Zero. God damn it! Because I rolled a nine. Hey, oh. You can't you can't really like team pool his own. Well, I guess you could like play along maybe. Uh... I'll, I'll go if you if you're really like accepting of it. I'll say you can team pool it. It doesn't really make sense. Do that. Yeah, it especially you doesn't make sense. Need a a nine two do the you know to yeah. have the potential player condition. You know that's fair. You do still get the hit. Yeah. So I'm you not really gonna. Need... Oh god. Even if you got a ten, you would just get the team pool back, so it doesn't even matter. Yeah. No. Or or player condition myself. I oh. can feel angry. That's true. Are you gonna? Oh shit! Wait, wait a minute. I'm angry. Minus two to come for support. So a seven. Hey, that's still within the range of success. Okay, whatever. Yeah. All right. So then there's no way you can get the ten. So there you go. Seven. Eh. <laughs> there are the dice. Okay. It's the best I can do. I'm sorry. So Mally, you can. You can clear a condition, mark potential, or shift labels. Uh, I think I'm gonna clear my. Insecure condition. Because that makes me oh, feel. Oh man, you have, you have more than one. I have three. Con well, two conditions now. I'm angry, hopeless, and no longer insecure. You guys better get good at talking. Yeah. yeah seriously. So what's this? Uh, what's yeah, Nick has like one condition. Angry from? Uh, hopeless. I mean, just from failing rolls. Unleash my power rolls. Mm. Yeah. Nah. Got a little too true to the narrative, so she started adding conditions herself. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the thing about conditions is you're supposed to add them when things go. Yeah. Go bad. It's just such a pain in the ass to clear. Oh it. yeah, no. Oh, and one of them was when Ash was like, "Yeah, you're basically useless, and I don't want anything to do with you." Well, well here's the deal. You guys need to do more comfort and support for each other because you can, if you roll high enough, you can clear a condition of your own. And that's the key. That's how you do it. I'm waiting for an opportunity. I, look, I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm not I'm telling you how to play. I'm just saying. I'm getting there. Suggestion. <laughs> okay. Oh, how sweet. You clear condition. Okay. Um. Now what? You guys are meeting up. Yeah, we're me we're meeting up, and I actually make a suggestion. Instead. Ah, eh, no, no, no. Never mind. No. So, so first, we're, we're, we're meeting up. Yeah, we're meeting up. So we meet up at... Uh, and, I'll shoot, and I'll shoot, uh... I'll have to cross out a, a quick test text saying, Oh, I'm gonna go figure out what's up with, uh... What's up with that one person, uh... Mystic Princess? Uh, what's her... What's... <laughs> Mystic Princess. I'm trying to figure out her actual name. Victoria. Since she was absent. And, you know, make sure she's up to date on homework and whatever. Are you texting her right now? Yeah. Okay. On the, on the way to Johnny Jim's. Hmm. You're, you get a text back that's like, Yeah, sorry, just dealing with some personal problems right now. I'm gonna be out of, out of it for a couple of days, but don't worry, I'm totally fine. Cool, keep me updated. <laughs> I'll fill you guys all in. Whenever it's over. Okay. Oh, oh, wait. So Victoria sends that, or yeah. Oh, no, Victoria. Oh. All right. Cool. Well, let's go. Let's go bust up a secret lab. Wait, 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 wait. I go up to the counter. I order not one, not two, but three cookies. Okay. I eat them all in one sitting. I fling myself into easy release to clear hopeless. Sure. Yes! <laughs> Boy, you gained five pounds. That's okay, I could afford them. <laughs> Take 
that. Ha! ha I'm the evilest DM that you've ever encountered. Five pounds, the whore! Okay, so... Great, so what? I say, so what happened after I left? Um, and by the way, I'm really sorry for leaving you guys like that. I just... I didn't see any point in moving forward, and I mean, honestly, I figured if anybody could handle it, it'd be you. I mean, all you have to do is watch somebody, and you can do just about anything, so... Wow, are you trying to shift his superior up? Uh, no, but I am trying to comfort or support him. No. I'm supporting him. Okay, she's trying to comfort or support you, Nick. Do you accept? Okay, oh. <laughs> do the, do the hang-up and, and, uh... Dial in. Yeah. So click on the... You gotta... Oh, God. It's bottom left. Bottom left? Yeah. Click that and then click general again. Hello. Nick, Nick, we can't hear you. You can't hear me? Oh, now we can. <laughs> I, I didn't do anything. I was just not talking. Oh. Well, she said... She do you asked. accept my comfort or support? I, I, I say, no, I, noticed, I noticed you were angry today in class. Your uh, pencil spinning looked a little ragey. Uh, and I was really out of it, but... Agitated. I mean... I'm sure that whatever happened after I left wasn't anything that, you know, wasn't any, wasn't your fault or anything like that, you know? No, guy's just an asshole. And? He killed someone in cold blood, and he's an asshole. And if anybody can deal with an asshole, it's you. You got out of the villain game. You're nice. better than that. She pinned you as a gay dude. Stop! She no! No! <laughs> if anyone can deal with an asshole, it's you. God damn it! <laughs> so yeah, that's my attempt at comforting and supporting you. I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. Okay, well, I, I'm gonna accept it if you... If I roll well. It's, um, a, a three plus so one. Roll. <laughs> it's, it's, wow. it's, a, it's a four. You gotta switch die. You're using, like, cursed die. A feather, no, a curse. They're just floating around in my bag. Maybe they picked up some bad things no, you're, you're, you're just really shitty molding dice, apparently. Yeah, but I have a lot of potential. <laughs> no, I'm angry at your dice. Yeah, seriously, your, your potential is so much further along than mine. I have one now, and I have an advancement. Okay, so what do you do in response? Well, uh, I'm like, yeah, yeah, you're right. I try to, I try to be like, you know, not shitty to her, but inside I'm still pissed at that, that, that jerk off. <laughs> I think my support has gone swimmingly. So you're, you're playing along, but it doesn't, it doesn't really hit you. Yeah, because I don't want her feelings to be hurt. Oh, actually, though, I bet, I think I can probably tell a little bit, but I, pre like, I recognize that he's just playing along, and I appreciate that. God, we're just gonna have, like, a chain of, like, I see that he's not, not well, really no, 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 hurt, no. so I'm gonna get hurt by that, and I see that she gets hurt by me. No, 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 I'm not, hurt. I'm not hurt by it. I can just tell, I know how it, I know how much it sucks to be angry, because I am also angry. Wow. It is a rage fest over here. <laughs> I know you know I know so much the story and being so I'm gonna get the show on the way today. Okay. Great. So we're gonna go and uh, I I I say to you, look, I need to punch the shit out of something. Let's go investigate this warehouse. Yeah. I mean you guys try to like rub each other's shoulders. <laughs> uh, uh, just relax. Serenity down. <laughs> <laughs> The season is off. You accidentally okay. pinch a nerve. Ooh. <laughs> no, I, I say I I need to I just I, I need to punch something. Let's go check out this warehouse. Alrighty. Let's do it. We head to the warehouse. It was the secret hideout of the buzzer who got murdered. 
That's the transition music. Cool. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. It's the it's the girl moth. Yeah, but nothing a good punch can't fix. Yeah, well, I'm gonna be a bit sneakier than that. So in my time as a criminal, I picked up the ability to lock pick, because that was just one of the things that I was supposed to, you know, supposed to learn in my line of work. So I do that. I pick the lock. And I say, wait, 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 wait. wait. And I pull out one of my gadgets. Oh. Yes. Okay. And it, it's. That's cool, but I had a roll. Is it an electric lock or is it a physical lock? It's electrical. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take out my gadget, and I guess that's overcoming an obstacle, so I gotta roll. Uh. At least your powers. Yeah. Man, I can't wait till you roll low so you're hopeless again. Yeah, well, there is always a backup option. Yeah, go for it. Alright. Fingers crossed, everybody. Send good vibes. Don't fuck it up, Dice. Don't fuck it up. She brushes you inside and says, I have a thing for this. No potential. <laughs> oh my god! A fucking ten! Finally. Suck it, everyone! I, not our no, viewers. You guys, you guys had faith in me. Suck it, dice. That's right. Give it. Give me a ten. Do you have a plus zero to free? I do. It? Okay, yeah. So you do it. Damn. I do it. She does it. It's very impressive. Yeah. The the gadget kind of like clicks open and whirs, and when I put it on there, the little electric lock screen goes kind of haywire, um, and then the door just kind of clicks open quietly. Yeah, the little pad lights up green like someone swiped the key card successfully, so it's like, you're like, whoa. Yeah. So, this girl's really good. She actually Ooh. has some abilities. Who'd have thunk it? I'm gonna quietly nudge the door open. <laughs> okay, no, it's not. You said quietly, so it's not gonna squeak. <laughs> the squeak was inside yeah. our hearts. I, I'm gonna only leave it like partially open and like squeeze my way through. I'm going to very stealthily gymnastics my way up to the, the rafters. I am very impressed because I've never seen you do gymnastics like that. It looks very impressive, Nick. I am on the ground because I cannot do gymnastics. Are you going to walk in too? Yeah, I'm going to squeeze in behind through the, through the open doorway. I'm actually going to peek in first before I start going straight in, so what do I see? You see, you know, the same thing you saw before. Alright, yeah. Oh my god, the president's back with five digits! <laughs> what? The buzzard's back with five <laughs> No, I heard him. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna, like, oh. I'm gonna move in and head over towards the computer area, like I did last time. Quietly, though. It's a shadow. Did, did you shut the door? Yes. Okay. Oh. When the door shuts, you hear the lights and see them come on. Oh. Choo, 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 choo. They kind of like come on like one row at a time. I I love the lights. Oh. Okay. So yours are like sort of in the shadows, but they're all turning on. <laughs> I dive behind like a shadowy place wherever it is that I can. Is there like a box I can hide behind? You need yourself some sort of cloaking gadget. Yeah, that would. Have been yeah. A what? A cloaking den, I guess it. Ah, uh, there's always time for that later. <laughs> Alright. Well, anyway, you hear a feminine voice cackle out and say, I was wondering when you would show up. I poke my head out from behind whatever box I'm in. Or I'm, I'm like behind. And I say, uh, and who are you? I believe you took out my associate earlier. Oh, you're a friend of the buzzards. We're acquainted. <laughs> I'm very sorry. <laughs> I, I, I am very confused by this laughter and I say, I'm very sorry for your loss, ma'am. But oh, the man was, is very sarcastic. Oh, he was nothing to me. Uh, uh, alright, well, uh, can I ask what you're doing here? 
I'm here to protect all this information and whatever else they have in this facility. So you don't know what else they So you don't know what else they have in this facility. So what you're telling me is that you're not at the top of the food chain here. <laughs> you, you trying to like take her down morally or something like I'm that? trying to provoke her into telling me something. Let's do it. Actually, it's a move. Yeah, you want to provoke someone? Yeah. That's, yeah, that's what he said. Roll superior. It's plus superior? Alright. Yeah. I'm good at that one. I know this because 10 did it all the time. Oh, 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 that's a 10 plus 2, making it a 12. Hey, run the debate and do what you want. I want her to tell me what her, like, actual position is and how she's going to protect this stuff. She's, okay, uh, she's like the leader of a group of thugs known as the Gaggle of Googly Goons. <gasps> it's the Giggler. The Giggler. <laughs> um, and that's, you know, she's here to protect the stuff, which is what the buzzer was supposed to do, but he fucking got destroyed. Yeah, but like, how is she going to protect the stuff? She has powers. Okay. <laughs> she t- t- okay. <laughs> Great. So how does she reveal all of this to me? I say you're not you're not the top of the food chain. I mean, she already said that she's here to protect the stuff. Right, but I want to know her position. Like, I, I need her to tell me that. I mean, that's how the room is supposed to work. Oh, darling, I'm nothing more than a hired thug. You need not concern yourself with hierarchy here. Okay, I'm just gonna assume that you're gonna try to fight us or whatever if we try to go in, access information, fuck shit up, get the need to use. I just want to hear you laugh. (laughs) Okay, (laughs) that's bizarre and unlikely considering the fact that there are are super weapons being created by this group and I saw a guy get murdered here. Well, you know, the basis of all humor is based in darkness. You know the classic joke, why did the chicken cross the road? Yeah, they get to the other side, it's because the chicken gets hit with the car. Yeah, alright, cool. So I'm just gonna kinda sneak around you and do my thing and I'll let you do your thing and we can just be cool. Cool. <laughs> She's gonna do stuff to you. Oh, goody. I need to look on phone by phone. Oh, is that what the big boy's saying? Nice. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. know. Ooh, okay. So I just about from behind my box. Of hiding. Oh. Yeah, there wasn't a very effective hiding spot since you revealed yourself immediately. I'm peeking. Okay. Okay, so she's just gonna like, all of a sudden you feel like you're being tickled. Oh. And and, and I'm like, (laughs) smirking and like doing a little laugh, but I've never, my character's never been like, the kind of person who you like, tickle and she just goes spastic. You, you can, like, kind of see, like, a weird shimmer that looks like maybe there are, like, invisible hands tickling you. But I'm going to put the illusion forward that I am stony face and not laughing. God damn it. Well, I'll either succeed or I'm going to fail. <laughs> a nine... Plus okay. So, plus one? 
Plus zero. Plus zero. So. Mark a condition, or I get to tell you how it's unstable or temporary. Uh, I'm just, you, you can tell me how it's unstable or temporary. Okay. <laughs> Not worth marking a condition over this. So it's going to hold out for a few minutes. Yeah, and I'm going to advance towards her. She looks a little frustrated that you're not seeming to, like, catch on. She sort of caught that you were, like, resisting a little bit, but then it seemed to go away. So now she's trying to, like, get you a little harder. Yeah, okay. And you, you said you're going to advance towards her? Yeah, I'm going to advance towards her. And I am going... to... Let me look at these moves real quick. Uh, I'm going to use my criminal mind. What is that? It is one of my delinquent moves. I, I And I'm going to assess the situation. I can always ask one of the following questions, even on a miss. I'm going to roll, assess the situation. Come on. That is an eight plus something. And that something is... I told myself I wasn't going to need the book today, and I completely forgot to print off my move sheets, because that's how I roll. No, how you roll is bad. Oh, God. Hurtful. Honest, but hurtful. Um, where is this situation? Plus superior! Oh, so that's plus two, so that means I get a ten. Oh, nice. Yeah. That took a long time. Sorry about so that. So what do you do? I get to ask two of the questions on assess the situation and then one for my criminal mind list. Um, how could we best end this quickly? Um, what here can I use to take down the, the, the head of the googly gang of g giggle g? Oh, sorry. <laughs> you have to hang up on Nick and, and join the thing again. Gee, dang it. Hello. Hello. Hey, sorry about that. Okay, so how can we best end this quickly? Um, what here can I use to take down uh, this lady? And uh, what here is useful or valuable to me? Okay, you're gonna have to list off all those questions. Okay, what here is, um, how can we best end this quickly? Um. Oh shit, I had that. Um, she, oh yeah, um, she really, like, cares about her own life, despite, you know, acting insane, so mm. if you, like, make her fear for her life, she will give up immediately. Oh, good. Cool, so um, I'd like to jump down her outfits and land on her. Yeah, actually, that I don't need to ask any of the other questions. That's yes, just... You're not going. Um, I'm like, I'm uh, like I guess what here? Pick. I guess what here can I use to? Um, what here can I use to get more information about this project? Um. There's well, there's not really like overt information like sitting out anywhere. Okay. I mean, you could just like use your observation and see like. I don't know, like, look closely at, at the the various, like, tubes and see, like, where the people are. Okay. So more like your own observation than, like, just latent information. Great. I think you said you're gonna, you're gonna go, go on her. And then my last question I'm is... Gonna, ooh, go ahead. Yeah, ask the last question. Uh, what here is useful or valuable to me? Um, well... You're a teammate. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Useful or valuable to you? She might have information about why they were here. Okay. Um, other than what she initially said about just being here to be hired. Perfect. All right, so Nick, do your thing. Cool. I'm gonna ground pound her in, you know, into the floor. Nice. Cool. Could be down. Yep. Okay. Does, does he stick the landing? Only his roll will tell. So are you gonna roll? Uh, yeah. What would that be? Probably like direct engage of threat, right? Because I'm right up in there. Yeah, definitely. Alright. Alright, so roll three. That's a 
four plus three is a seven! Okay, so it's a hit, but you're gonna trade blows. What? Well, does I have to choose to resist or avoid their blows? Yeah, eh, so, yeah I'll so do it, I'll do it. Resist or avoid their blows. Okay, so... Yeah, I mean, there are other ones. You can take something from them, create an opportunity, or impress, uh, surprise, or frighten them. Surprise, bitch! Well, I'm not just a surprise. I'm just gonna, you know, just gonna jump in out of nowhere and smash her. Nice. Okay. Yeah, so my friend comes flying out of the sky, and I'm just like, whoa. Okay. To, uh, after being tackled, she lets out this weird, like, cackle. Like, she, it's the funniest thing that's, that's ever happened to her. Oh, God. Cool, I'm gonna grab her by, like, the face and put her in the wall. By the face? Holy shit, dude. Yep. Uh, you've grabbed her, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do use my move, Are You Watching Closely? Uh, when you mislead or distract or trick someone, roll plus superior. On a hit, they are fooled, at least for a moment. On a 10 plus, choose three. On a 7 to 9, choose two. Um, and I'm going to try to trick her into believing that I can shoot fire out of my hands. Okay. And I'm advancing on her. Well, as you're grappling her, Nick, she's going to, like, direct her tickling to you. So. Oh, good. <laughs> um, is, it, is it in time for me to, like, fling her and then get tickled? Or is it happening? Well, the tackle was like one, but then like the the part of you picking her up by the face and then throwing her, that's definitely a second move. So you're gonna have to take a powerful blow. I, I know it sounds dumb because she's just tickling you, but this. All right, Nick, let's see if I can protect you. It's a five, which is good for take a powerful blow, right? Plus conditions. How many conditions do you have? One. Okay, so a six. So you miss, so you get to mark potential. And you stand strong. Hey. Cool, so she's going through the wall, uh, all the base of the computer. You're throwing her through the computer? Through the computer wall. Because remember, that was in its own super room. Okay. Within the warehouse. So I'm going to throw her through that. Okay. Alright, I'm going to do my are you watching closely thing once she lands. So that's a 9 plus superior, so that's an 11. Um, so on a hit, they are fooled, at least for a moment. On a 10 plus, choose 3. You get an opportunity, you expose a weakness or a flaw, you confuse them for some time, or you avoid further entanglement. So I'm going to say I get an opportunity, I expose a weakness or flaw, and I avoid further entanglement. So I advance on her, hands falsely ablaze. Okay. And I yell at her and I say... You know, I didn't want to have to use my power on you, but you're really making it difficult not to. She's looking a little scared. I increase the flame's heat from red to blue. Ooh, like jets or something. Yeah. Ah. And the flames get a little bigger around my hands. Okay, so she's just been thrown into, like, through through a wall? Through, yeah, through a wall. Through a wall? You're really strong. It's not a very thick wall, it's just like, it's just like, like to keep that room from the main area of the warehouse, I guess. That's kind of how you described it. Um, okay. I kind of said that the computer room was like further up and it was like looking down yeah. on the, that area, so it's not really like- Okay, a, then it's kind of throw her up there. Okay, sure. So you're throwing her like through the glass then? Yeah. Okay. And then you're gonna scare the bejesus out of her with some fire? Yeah. She's not coming at me with whatever she's doing next. Okay. Okay, well I'm gonna start sprinting up there. Try to maybe gymnastic my way up to where that thing is. So you're the, you're the closest person to her now? Yeah. He is. Okay, well, she's gonna give out a last tickle attempt, you can see like a flurry of these these things that are like sort of distorting light um, 
and there's like at least eight or maybe even like a dozen hands flying at you and tickling you all over. So you'll have to roll to take another powerful blow. You know. Okay. She has to give out a last <laughs> a death swing as. All as right. Okay, I'm out of advantage now. Yeah. Five plus one. Wow. You miss nice. again. Awesome. So. Oh, potential. Yeah. Okay, so let me go ahead and break my advancement real quick. When you have a condition marked to take plus one towards the person that you um, blame for causing that, that's actually take a move from another playbook. It's the transforming playbook. Okay. All right. So you're doing the same thing you did for... Um, ten. For ten. Yep. So is that only... Uh, actually... Ten had, ten had a different one. Ten had the went angry, add plus, uh, add plus one to unleash powers. Okay. Which I have. Oh, yeah. As, um, As a bull. Perfect. Yeah. There's okay. no way that any of this can go wrong. Sure. <laughs> You're always angry. That's my secret cap. Okay. Reference jar! So you, you got her. Well, she, you, you resist her things and she just looks horrified and... What are you going to do now that you're sort of in her face? Cool. Well, I'm not actually in the room yet, so rather than going through the glass, I'm actually going to go through the wall next to the glass and just, like, punch a hand through it and, like, yank it apart. And... The whole wall is glass. There's not really, like, a wall, per se. So when you threw it, it through it, it's, it's, it's really all glass. There's no, like, door connecting to it. No, it's... There's, there's like a lower staircase that goes down to the lab, so you, you kind of just like skirted that instead and, and went up, like straight through the window instead. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna smash through the glass right up in her face and grab her by the throat. Yeah, it was, it's like one pane, so it was already broken. Nice. Okay. Sorry. No, no badass glass smashing for you. Yeah, okay. You're gonna grab her throat though? Be, keep in yeah. mind, you don't know what she knows about her giving up immediately, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna kill her. Yeah, we're not Ash. I I know. We're not, we're not Ash. I'm not saying that so that you don't kill her. I'm saying so you, you don't know that she would just squeal. Yeah. And so I make my way up the staircase because I am not as badass as my fellow teammate is in terms of physical prowess. Fire hands still ablaze, and I stay a good enough distance away from her that she can't feel the heat that isn't there. Because I'm gonna go ahead and say that's one of the limitations of my power is, sure, yeah. you know, laws of thermodynamics and all that. Um, so, sh I, and I say, you know, you really didn't tell us what you were here for and what this project's all about. And I think it's about time that you do that. Look, okay, okay, okay. Just don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. I, I just, I, I just want to live. She says in her creepy cackly voice. Great. Um, I think we can arrange that. Can you really creepy cackly voice? No, because I can't think and use the voice at the same time. <laughs> like, I can't think and play with you at the same time. Yeah, nice. So, so, she, she's like, okay, uh, look, I'll just, I'll tell you everything else that I know. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm the giggler, hi. You, you fought my gaggle googly goons. I'm a girl, actually. It's weird. Oh. I know, it was rumored that I was a guy, but, you know. Uh, surprise! Great. Um, Subverting expectations. I, I How just... forward thinking. Wow. I'm trying, okay. <laughs> no, 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 that's, that's in character towards the giggler. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yes, thank you, I, I try. Um, so, look, I was just hired by this weird voice called The Father. And all I know is that there's some insane science. Turn your fucking phone off! <laughs> it, I, I, <laughs> I just know that there's some insane science experiments happening here, and I, I just had to prevent it because I, I heard that the buzzer got taken out really fast and he's dead. Holy shit. Um, and so I, I had a feeling you guys would come back and try to cause problems. So I, I was just hired here. I got sent here from another more important facility, but since. You know, I'm Where's the, the other oh, facility? Uh, I'm just like, I, I, oh, shit. You'd rather not say. Uh, <laughs> Let me guess. It's hidden somewhere. 
and the flames get bigger. Okay. And I and I squeeze through a little bit. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. It's hot. Breathe, breathing, breathing. I can, I need to breathe. I need to breathe. Please. Huh. Let her down. I'll yeah. Let's do, that's okay, okay. Look, okay. look. It's 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 a it's really far from here. It took me all day to get here. You guys showed up like as soon as I got here. Um. How convenient. It's like way across town. It's like on the other side of the mountain, basically. Okay. Uh, any specific landmarks that we should be looking out for? <laughs> you can't drop the other location and not expect us to go for it. It's just a warehouse in the woods. And it, it, there's not really a big landmarks any nearby. You just It's just on the other side. It's like directly on the other side of the mountain. You can't miss it. All right, and uh, how are you contacting okay. slash contacted by the father? It was a burn number. I tried to call it back, and it just it didn't work. I I I have no way to get back to him. Phone, give it now. It just like falls out of her pocket. I grab it. Well, I put out fire in one hand, fire illusion in one hand, and grab it so that I keep it up. <laughs> nice. And I stick it in my pocket. Well, Jack, you got anything you want to ask this bitch? Yeah, here the phone with Google Maps. You're gonna find out the exact point location of this facility. You guys are just manhandling my NPC. <laughs> I am not yeah. touching your NPC. I don't, I don't get to be a super strong brute thug a whole lot, and is why I just play like Damien and and Jack. <laughs> nice. Okay. But now I am. It's it's here, and she points, and it's it's actually kind of close to you guys' like hideout. Oh. Um, but it's like lower down the mountain. Also cool. Like, Should we ever take us there, or would it be a bit? Mm, cops first. <sighs> I suppose. Cops first, then, then taking on the the greatest evil ever faced by a man, or whatever this asshole wants to call himself. Okay. The father. Uh, we bump into her, like, right? What? And then I'm gonna, they're like, no, no, uh, this is a finger thing. No, I don't know any of that, because we couldn't hear well, any of Matthews, that. Well, Matthews, the, the, the addictive finger flick. You're doing a finger flick on her forehead? On her, on her chin. Because that's how you knock people out, not on the forehead. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So a super powered finger flick to knock her out. Okay, she's out. Limply. Great, okay. You want to call the cops? Uh, I may have gotten in some trouble with the department once or twice when I had some case files I got access to. How about, how about we just tie her up with a lot of duct tape and drop her off in front of them and okay. then they deal with it? Question. How much duct tape do you see around here? And I gesture. I pull some out of my pocket. Why do you carry duct tape? No way, dude. Because that's how I would tie people. No back. way, dude. You can't just say I pull it out of my pocket. That's bullshit. But zip ties. That could definitely fit in a Nobody pocket. carries that around with them. Former criminal. Okay. I say... It would be more reasonable for you to just have rope than fucking zip ties or duct tape. Yeah, I actually- oh. Okay, then you have rope. See? That's more reasonable. Cause that's a, okay. like a Tied normal rope. utility item to carry around when you're doing shit. But fucking duct tape. Zip ties are the tits. Let me tell you, as a mechanical engineer, zip ties are the tits. Okay, you if you ever want to be, like, carrying an item, you gotta fucking say when you leave. You can't just be like, I okay, conveniently okay, have this okay, item in my out. pocket the whole time. First thing I'm doing is buy zip ties and rope and duck. Fine, go ahead. I'm just letting you know that that's totally bullshit and I'm not gonna let you get away with it. Okay. <laughs> but you have okay. rope, okay? okay? You have rope. Because that's thanks normal. Thanks to your next generosity for allowing me when I didn't say it previously. Great. So, uh, I'm like, okay, well, uh... Yeah, let's tie her up, take her to the cops, and pop smoke. Okie doke. Da 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 da! 
So what are you gonna do now? Do we get her to the cops? <laughs> sure. Yeah. She comes to and starts telling really like weird riddles and old jokes. I give her a pity laugh. Yeah, none of them she's are had really a rough day. All that funny. She's had a she bad looks day. really sad that you guys aren't giggling or laughing. I anymore. give her a fake laugh. She can tell. She's a master. Uh, I I hold I hold up another like figure of, like. I look at I look at Mally. You're a nice douche. I grab you like by the hand, and I know that it's not going to do a whole lot because you're a lot stronger than me. And I kind of do like a light tug, like not even worth it. Okay. And I. She's already tied up. Yeah. I look at her and I'm like, come on, this is really pathetic. Don't add, don't add injury to insult. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess we get her, we get her over there. We're just like, yeah, this is what I was like, playing around using invisible hands to take people in the street and she's like, I can So, you dumped her off at the cops? Yeah. They're, they're gonna be like... Who is this? Hey, Officer Randall. Uh, Celeste here. This is the Giggler. She's the one who's been giving us all that trouble. Uh, Wait, sent she's her... the Giggler? I thought the Giggler was a dude. I know. That's the dangers of gender normative thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I could have sworn I always heard it as the Giggler and his gaggle of googly goons. Yeah, well, you know, the patriarchy at work. Listen, speaking of work, I'll let you get back to yours and the paperwork processing her. Okay, bye! Thanks a lot, jerk. Well, let's go get pizza. Yeah, pizza! What's the name of the pizza in Toy Story? The pizza place. Uh, pizza Planet. Pizza Planet. Was it Pizza Planet? It was Pizza Planet. I thought it was Pizza Planet, but then I, I thought it sounded more impressive than that. No, it's Pizza Planet. Oh, so we're going to... We're going to play pizza. Pizza copyright. Nice. <laughs> Perfect. We can't mention Toy Story now because it got announced for Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh, man. Oh, by the way, it's Kingdom Hearts 3. I mean, Pizza Planet. I mean, Toy Story. What? All I heard was, like, all the nouns in that sentence. Please sponsor us. Please oh, sponsor okay, us. Okay, yeah. Because yes. then I, after that, all I heard was Kingdom Hearts 3, Pizza Planet, Toy Story 3. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and start going through the phone of the Giggler okay. and try to backtrace the burner phone, see if I can figure out a brand or a, you know. I'm also going to try to well, see. Well, no, 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 a brand of the burner phone, like where it might have been purchased, a SIM card number. These are all things that you can trace because if you there's a SIM card. Yeah, but it doesn't very matter. The point of the burner purchased. phone is you call once and then you throw it away, and then if you find where that fucking phone is, it's like great, I found this trash can. Right. Okay. No, the point is not to find the phone itself. The point is to find the origin of the phone so we can lock down a potential area that they might be operating in. There is a reason to do this. Spoilers. It's Halcyon City. <laughs> God, freaking damn it. Which is the name of the city? Named after the mountain that it's based on, Calcium oh. Mountain. Calcium Mountain. Calcium Mountain. Okay, well. <laughs> I also. Calcium, like, Calcium River. I'm just gonna download all of the data off of the phone in case it becomes useful in the future because I'm guessing that she's got other people who she actually stays in contact with. But the rest are really good news. Yeah! I could imitate her, have a fake giggly gag of googly goons. You guys are the worst. <laughs> I'm just keeping the information for later, okay? Okay. <laughs> <sighs> Welcome. Never give your players anything. Welcome to my life. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna stop by one world. That's the best part of this world. And <laughs> wow, okay, that was really bad. Yeah, that was so robotic. Um, oh man! You're okay, gonna stop by Wally World, and then you said something that made yourself laugh. I'm about to say. We just keep getting your laugh more than your sentence. <laughs> okay, hang. On. I'm hanging. Oh. I'm on my phone now. All right. Well, Why did you switch back? Well, because I couldn't hear you at all. Damn. Sorry. 
Well. Anyway. So you're going so to Wally World. I'd, I'd like to go to Wally World and buy some zip ties and the just zip ties. Okay. You buy zip ties. <laughs> Great. All right. Nice. I, that, you that you understand ball. why I fought you on that, right? Because that's dumb and convenient that you can just say I pulled duct tape out of my pocket. No, I was gonna, I was gonna, you know, let it go, and then we were just gonna have to march her over there. That's okay. But now for the future, I will have something to tie people up. Okay. Great. You always fight me so hard, so I fucking bet no, me. No, you're absolutely right on this. I can't just push it out of my pocket unless I specifically say that I have had it before. So now I do. Now, now I can just take care of the, the, the logistics of tying up the hooks. Now you can call yourself the zipper. <laughs> Great. Yeah, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and send another text to Mystic Princess and be like, hey... We just took out the giggler. Uh, missed having you here. Hope everything's going okay. We're having so much fun without you. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys aren't having too much fun without me. And I give him a look. Like, don't even do it. Don't even say anything, Jack. Don't even say anything. We ran into a real life unicorn. <laughs> and I, I face I, Paul. I just, I just say that out loud. I don't text it. I face Paul, and I'm like, you know what? I, I'm, you're incorrigible. So you guys are at like a pizza place or something? <laughs> yes, we are at a pizza place. Planet Pizza. Yeah, Planet, Planet pizza. pizza. The Club. So yeah, I'm just kind of I'm hanging out and. It's called the Hando at Pizza Planet. Nice. Planet pizza. And I'm going to go ahead and be like, dude, we just totally kicked ass, like. Forget Ash and all of his bullshit. Like, what we just did was amazing. That sounds like a team celebration to me. Yes, it is. How do those work? Yeah, we just we just took out the giggler. You tell me. And you on your sheet. Is it? Yeah. Oh. When you celebrate a victory with the team, do you so, so, and so? Oh, yeah. When you share a triumphant celebration with someone, ask them if they think you're cool. I was... And if they say yes, give them influence, take influence over them. If they say no, mark a condition or spurn them immediately. Their teammate, either way, add a team to the pool. So I'm going to go ahead and say, like, that was so badass. And, 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 yeah, why was that cool fire stuff you did with your hand? Yeah, I know, right? That was super badass. So I just kind of used my illusions. It wouldn't have done any damage, but she totally fell for it. And I am a total boss. Nice. So, like, you think that was cool, though? Like, I just kind of, I, I just, I mean, you, you kind of mentioned it, but, like. No, it definitely worked. I, I wouldn't have been able to get close to her unless you were, you were, like, keeping her distracted. Okay, I mean, like, I know it worked, but, like, it was cool, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yes! We share influence over one another now, which you already had over me. Mm -hmm. Let me mark influence over you. Nice. You guys can influence each other now. Ooh. Yeah, we're under the influence. And we get another thing to the team pool. Yay, more team points that you're never going to use. Hey! It's so hard to use the team pool, I know. to be real. I know. And you just rack up, you just get you just three te team points all the time. You get one every session. You already have five. You're never going to use them all. Wow. Yeah, that's why you don't have to worry about not having not enough team. The team. Mm hmm. No, we should absolutely try to do teamwork as a team. I'm ready. I'm ready for this. Yeah, do more like, aren't, are there team moves? Uh, no. God. I don't know. Even, like... I'm, next time, I'm gonna take some... I think, doesn't the, the delinquent have something where they use... Team, team selfishly. selfishly? Oh, yeah. Team members can also yeah. spend team to act se selfishly. When you act selfishly, say how your actions ignore or insult your teammates. Remove one team from the pool and shift one label up and one label down. Your choice. Ooh. You can use this option after rolling to alter the label you're rolling with. Ooh. There you go. Oh. Whenever time passes, the GM will empty the team pool and restore it to one team. Oh. Wait. So we gotta use it. We definitely forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's it's not like you guys ever use team anyway. Well, that's good to keep in mind. I mean, that was like our first time playing masks. 
Yeah. So basically, every time that we start a session, you'll have two team then. Right on. Cool. Good to keep in mind, I guess. Anyway, we'll just roll All right for now. Because you get like two How? every time you enter battle, which is nuts. How would you feel about calling in Nova Lion and Frostheart on down on this big bad facility? It's Heart Frost. Okay, well. Because it sounds like you said Frost Heart. <laughs> <laughs> well. Heart Frost. Um. I mean. I I guess I'd be fine. More firepower probably couldn't hurt, but they have to know like this is just a temporary thing. I mean, they're not they're not invited to Hero Club. I mean, I'm, well, I mean, we can in invite them, but like they actually have to join and be willing to like, you know, listen to the people who are I guess you and I have officer positions. Uh yeah, I'm which the treasurer. How is that say which one's the VP? Oh, I'm definitely the VP. <laughs> Goody. <laughs> yeah, because the vice president doesn't have to uh have any responsibilities unless the president is missing. Ah shit. Damn it! Uh, <laughs> hey, you're the leader. You're the leader. Oh god. Nice. Well, lead on. Um, you really, you really you want me to call? You want me to call in the big guns? Uh, just call in your your buddies or whatever. So I'm gonna I'm gonna send them both a text and say, Hey, how do you feel about busting up a like evil lab? Uh, and I and I say. Yeah, it's a good thing you're not our PR person because your pitch needs work. Nice. Well, look, I'm the treasurer. Not Are you shifting his labels? No, <laughs> I'm ribbing him in a friendly manner. <laughs> He's very hurt by this. God damn it! No, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> I shut my insecure up. <laughs> God damn it! No. No, I don't. Yeah, I feel like the five conditions should be your labels instead. Yeah. I have plus five to angry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just really mad all the time. Damn. Uh, anyway, so you immediately get a text back from Heart Frost, and she's like, "Sure, let's hang out, or whatever." Um. <laughs> so you know, she'll be there shortly. Um, the Overline, it takes him a couple of minutes, and he's like, "Why?" For fun. Oh, it's just, like, fun to, like, take out facilities? I kind of want to just live a normal Evil life. facilities? Evil facilities doing horrible, inhumane experiments? Uh... What kind of experiments? Uh, enslaving people, putting them, uh... You know, the evil like, kind. Like, weird energy abilities into them. Apparently Ash comes from here. Yeah, just tell everybody everything that we know. There's no way that this could ever backfire for us, ever. Wait, isn't that the guy that no, kills me? people? I don't know if I want to get involved in this. God damn, you told them that he killed the buzzard? Hey, hey, you know, you're not on speaker. <laughs> I, I'm texting. Yeah, I'm looking over your shoulder because I don't trust these people. I don't know them yet. No, hang on. Me me and Nova Lion are, 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 are buttons. Alright? And if he doesn't want to get mixed up with a bunch of killers, that's, you know, that's up to him. The right? eyebrow is that's raised it. skeptically, but no further argument is given. Oh, okay. If you don't want to come. How about, how about you, Heart Frost? You down? She already said that she was yeah. going to join. She was ready to hang out or whatever. Wait, she's coming? Yes. She sa I said that immediately. Yes. I was like, Heart Frost immediately. No, I, can't, I can't hear you. I said, okay, Heart Frost, Heart Frost like Damn immediately it. said, yeah, I'm in. Let's go hang out or whatever. And then it takes Nova Line a while, and then he's like, you know, and then we have that conversation, and then he's like, that sounds super dangerous, no thanks. Because you just told okay. him today that that dude kills people. Okay, here's the thing. I can't hear you all the time because when I'm on my phone, you cut out, not me. It's frustrating, that sucks. Yeah, now I know how you feel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, only a few more weeks. You got this. You can survive. As long as you okay, know how to you love, know, you'll know you'll stay alive. I'll be here next week, so... Yeah, go. there we go. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, all Nick's right, gonna so be back next week. Planet Pizza, and then we'll all head over there. Okay. So Nova Line doesn't show up, obviously, and Heartfrost does. Does he? She looks really kind of excited to be with you. You call him a pussy. <laughs> he's totally reasonable! <laughs> you're like, did you hear that dude killed someone? And he's like, holy shit! And now you're like, let's go do the thing where, where we beat the bad guys. Also, he's involved. No thank you, dude! <laughs> no thank you, he evil. He's super reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. No, no, I was an ex-member of, a, of an actual hero team. You scared the shit out of him earlier. And he was like, no thanks, my dude. Anyway, Heartfrost shows up because she's sort of like blindly in love with you, it likes you, so she sort of, like, Aww. forgot about that earlier. Anyway. Yeah, so when I see her coming in all moony-eyed, I'm like, oh, so you invited your girlfriend to come out with us. All right, it's not, it's not the best date. Her face goes red and she says, we're not day. dating. I give her a very knowing look. <laughs> she just like you know blushes and looks away. Yeah, um, that's right. Wow, power move. Yeah, I'm the leader. <laughs> uh, yeah. So anyway, she's just gonna like shuffle it's up. Okay, so I'll try not to make the third wheel too much. Wow. I roll my eyes. So she just kind of like shuffles up to you, Jack. Um. And is anyone gonna say we're ready to go? I'm ready to go. Are we, are I'm you guys just gonna stand here? Are you guys just gonna stand here and make googly eyes at each other the whole time? Or are we gonna take out some bad guys? Let's kiss over this greasy pizza. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's head out. All right. And we do. We're off the scene. Like and that. we do. Hey, as a Kansan, that's offensive. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Yes. No. Oh, right. So I forgot to mention the giggle ahead of Kane. Anyway. Oh, no, you did. She, yeah, she was the person. No, I meant like. Well, I said it for the cover, but I, I don't think I said it when I introduced no. her. No. In anyway, she had one of those. Oh, good. Whatever. She was the person on the cover, in case you couldn't tell. Yeah, um, I think. Anyway. <laughs> so you're off to the facility, huh? Yeah. Okay. The big bad facility. So you, you march yeah. around. We'll play, we'll play this careful. We're, we're, we're going to go in sneaky like in case there's too much for us to handle. Yeah, we're going to go in reconnaissance style. Okie doke. So, uh, Harfoss is going to ask you, like, so what is this for again? Um. Alright, so. So apparently, these guys have been, like, doing all sorts of weird cloning stuff. And they're they're making like metahumans kind of like Asher or not Asher Ash. Ash. Uh, I think the exact words Ash used were uh, super weapon and then super weapons plural when discussing the clones. Which is why we are going to go in this quiet. And if there's there's you know too much there for us to handle, then you know we'll we'll, we'll bring in some people who can take care of it. Yeah, no shame in turning tail and running. I won't judge you. And I give her, like, a smile of, like, that she can't really decipher. Yeah, you'll have to judge me first, because I'll run first. And I run a lot faster than both of you. Yeah, alright. Oh, so you're just gonna leave your girlfriend behind. You she looks to... at you I'm... with teary eyes. I'll, ca I'll, ca I'll carry, I'll carry Hot Frost. Alright, cool. You do that you for can... me? Rotten Hell? I love it. <laughs> yeah. Nah, Thank you. I can take care of myself. I don't need a guy to take care of me in a dangerous situation. Oh, fuck the patriarchy. <laughs> okay. Cool. So, are you at the facility yet? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. Okay, so... We'll approach it from the high ground. So you finally find it in... The woods. The woods. It's kind of hidden, but... A lot more hidden you than know, the secret fortress luckily, of solitude. You, you had her pointed out on GPS, and she like sort of vaguely knew the area or the map that, that it was in. So. All right. 
there. You, you see it. It's surrounded by trees. Um, you can see the entrance. Yeah? What kind of lock system is it? It's electronic. Ah, goody. Let, let's look all around the building before we just go into the front entrance. I mean, obviously. Yeah, there's a big old fence around it, too, with, like, you know, the spiky stuff around it. Is it electric? No. But, you know, at least there's a fence around this one. Yeah, yeah. Well, this place looks a little bit more fortress-like than the last one. No, oh, barbed wire. Ugh. Okay. It's a good thing I always wear a leather jacket. Which I did mention well, last we don't, time. we don't need to deal with the barbed wire. I can jump us over there. And our frost can probably, like, freeze a little bridge over the barbed wire. It's a good thing I happen to have a bolt cutter in my pocket. I can just cut through the fence. <laughs> Surprise. Uh, I'm not... I'm not gonna do that. So first, I'm going. Hey, to... buddy, you want to use your zip dies to force the fence into submission? No, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to. Yeah, if you put enough on. I'm you, might... to, you know that you know that thing where they have like you have to like your hands out when you're about to give someone a boost. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Like on the fence. Yeah, cup your hands. Put they put their foot on it. Okay. Oh. Okay, so this is this is for you. Oh yeah, I, I'm actually yeah, gonna. Uh, I'm actually gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say, wait, 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 let's see what we can see while we're out here, and I am gonna assess the situation using my criminal mind move. Okay, there's pretty much only one question you can ask. Oh, well, then boost me up, and once we're about past the fence, I'll do the thing. Well, I'm just looking at the, these five questions, and you, I mean, you don't really know anything. It's like, what you Yeah, but another threat, one of my questions greatest thing? Oh, okay. is, what's the best way in or past? Yeah! So let's see if I can do it. Actually, it doesn't matter if I can do it or not. 11 plus superior, which makes it a 13. Okay. Um, so yeah, what's the one question I can ask from that list? What here can I use the blank? Yeah, what here could I use... Uh, actually, I'm gonna ask first, what's the best way in to the building? Um, in the front door. <laughs> Through the front door. I mean, the lo I mean okay. you have a way to get in through an electric yeah. lock, so. What could I use here to yeah, get in? Yeah, if there's, like, cameras or if there's, like, Yeah, what could I use to get in here stealthily? Um, I don't know. Do you have, like, a device that you carry with you that you can use to, like, remotely hack stuff? Like, oh, yeah. Like, Railgun style? Yeah. You it's, should, it's like, should... a miniature computer. That's how I was downloading the information from the phone. You should probably do that to get, turn off the cameras at the very least. All right, I'm going to do that, and I'm guessing that's a roll to unleash my powers. Go for it. All right. Nine plus zero. Yeah, plus zero. Okay, you want to help her? You can, like, lift her up. Uh, yeah. Get her. Uh, I'm going to... Get me closer uh, to I'll... her. What exactly are you trying to do? I'm using, I'm going to use my mini computer to hack into the system, but it would probably be better if I got closer and I can't get over the fence without your help. Okay, I'm going to help you over the fence. Yeah, I've been helped over the fence. So that makes it a 10? Yeah. Yes! So I'm going to go ahead and um, use my little mini computer to hack into the system and what's, what's the basic security of this building? Cameras. Cameras, super locked doors. You already, you know, vaulted yeah. one of them. Cool. So I'm going to disable all of the cameras and any sensors that I can find on my computer. And uh, and then disable the lock system on the front door. How convenient. I don't want to unlock all the doors because I don't know what's in there. And I don't want to unleash hell onto the world. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah, it could be like Joey's thing. Yeah, no, I don't trust labs after the Vision Chefs lab <laughs> dread game we played, which... Check it out on our YouTube channel! Nice. It was good. It was okay. good. So, yeah. So, the doors are unlocked. You can see, you know, the green key card accepted flashes yes. and you hear the click of the lock. So. Great. And I, uh, opened the door very, very, like, a, like a little bit and I kind of gesture and say, after you. Nick, are you okay. gonna go? Go ahead. Right. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go through. Okay. Right. Hard frost kind of like shovels in behind you. 
closely. I bring up the rear. Nice. Leading from behind. Is that what they call it? I guess. So, so you're, you know, you're in. What does it look like? Um, it's just like dark. Oh, goody. So, anyone got a flashlight? Man, it would have been really convenient to have no Hawaiian here. Yeah. I definitely have a little tiny flashlight. It's powerful, yeah, but yeah. tiny. <laughs> I hoist the flashlight. Okay. So if- Ooh, actually, no, it would probably be a headlamp for use when I'm building stuff, so that I could see things more clearly. Okay. Just like, little and okay. twisted. It's but gonna yeah. be a little smaller, then. You don't have That's a very fine. large radius. That's fine. It. Um, it's so more what, realistic. What you can tell from your first glance is it looks a lot like the other facility. Okay. Some of the stuff looks more high tech and less like a warehouse. It, it's definitely more of like a facility, like a researchy facility, like immediately. Whereas before, there was kind of like a like a warehousey stores room, okay. which was where you guys encountered the buzzer. Yeah. And then there was like the sciencey back room, so it was kind of like hidden. This one, since it has like a higher level of security around it, they didn't need to like, you know, have a cover. Make it yeah, make it look like anything else. So it's very obviously scientific from the get go. Um, Is there any technology that I would be familiar with that like impresses me a lot? You just, it just looks, I mean, it looks a lot like the other one. Okay. From, like, where you can see, like, computers and stuff. Like, there's, like, sort of a terminal and, um, and, a, like, a window down, so. All right, um, so, yeah, I'm going to continue exploring towards the, uh, terminal. Okay. Are you going to look out the window? Yes. Okay. You, you look out there and... It's still dark, mm -hmm. but you can see that one of the pods is glowing. Oh, goody! <laughs> and I say, uh, hey, hey guys, uh, uh, we, we've got a, a regular, uh, lava lamp over here, and I gesture to the tube. Okay. Mm. Okay. You gonna say anything? No, I'm, I'm just gonna say I'm gonna nod silently. Harfrost is gonna say, uh, "You guys think we should check out what that is?" No, we're gonna walk out of here not knowing what they're keeping hidden from us. Uh, and I head towards. Yeah. The well, that thing sounds like in. really unfruitful. Oh God! I don't even. I just give a look to my my uh, buddy pal chum, Jack. To try to convey, like, you said she might be useful, but <laughs> I'm doubting that. But yeah, I, uh... Well, she's definitely good in a fight. She's probably more dangerous than I am. I bravely go forward, though, to investigate, because I'm the vice president, God damn it. Nice. Can you guys still hear me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can. Okay. You know, we heard you say, you know, in a fight, but... But yeah, I wasn't actually verbalizing the uselessness of your girlfriend. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, yeah. Huh. You know, are, are you're, you're making your way up to it? Yeah, downtown, uptown, walking fast, faces pass, and I'm homebound. Okay. You're going to peek at any of the other ones when you walk past them? Uh, yeah, yeah, because it's not a really good survey without doing, like, a full peek through. Okay, so you see a lot of them, um, they're just, like random different people just like floating in you know this weird liquid it's all dark so Ugh. it's kind of creepy like looking at them you can't really tell if they're like yeah, especially with alive. my headlamp like, Ooh. they look kind of lifeless it's really weird oh god um, guys this is really creepy yeah and um yeah none, none, nothing really stands out alright let's find ourselves a computer with some files on it uh, let's go see what's in the one glowing tube, because that person might actually be alive. Mm. Be careful. I will. Just be ready for anything. Okay. Okay. And I kind of, like, have to stop and take a breath, because I'm really kind of creeped out by this whole thing. Okay, are, are you looking at it yet? Or are you I'm looking at it. Okay. It, it's hard for us. It looks exactly like her. 
Ah, hard frost. She oh, looks absolutely mortified. She's like, what? What is that? Uh, well, it looks like you. <laughs> um, I'm here though. Yeah. Okay. Well, consider the fact that this is a cloning facility. Have you ever given your DNA to some unsuspecting, or have you ever given your DNA away, you know, I mean, no. other than the usual, no, like, making well, out with really buddy dudes or whatever? No, we didn't really have a choice. We worked all sorts of experiments at the hand of Baron Blood. Oh, so your buddy Baron oh, Blood shit. might be behind this. Also, holy shit, you worked for Baron Blood? That guy's a legend. Well, not in a good way, yeah, by the way. Rocking, dude. I'm not impressed by this. I'm just, wow. It's probably work to me, like, kidnapped at a young age and, you know, forced through all sorts of brainwashing and, you know, inhuman experiments to give us our powers, and yeah. Oh, okay, well, you have to explain these situations to me. I can't, I don't just know everything off the top of my head. I mean, you know, the criminal. So, yeah, she's, yeah. like, mortified. In fact, she's just gonna, like, launch some ice at it and, like... Ooh, stop that! And, it, you know, it, it kind of, like, crinkles in from the outside. Um... I wince. Yeah. I glare at you, Jack. The clones eyes. Boss, we can't just we can't just kill your your duplicate. The clones eyes. The clones eyes, eyes open. God fucking damn it! Oh shit! Oh ah, shit! Okay. Um. Uh, hmm. I look at Heart Frost and I say, "Great." Well, on the plus side. No, 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 not not time for that. Not time for that. Okay, now so you've seen her naked you, body. You need to talk to a computer. Okay, um, yeah, alright, let's, uh, find the terminal. <laughs> okay, cool, it's, man. I mean, this one was way and back in the facility, so it's, it's quite a sprint to get back up the stairs and in, into the terminal. I'm sprinting, I'm huffing, and I'm puffing. Yeah, anyway, after her eyes open, she's gonna, like, let out a shriek and just burst out. God damn it! It's okay, we can handle this. We're sprinting, we're sprinting, and I'm like, heart frost? Jack, you want to take care of that while I'm up here trying to figure out what the fuck is going on? Yep, we'll hold up, we'll hold. Hold down the fort, got it. Alright, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll to unleash my powers to hack into the mainframe. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> oh, question, what is the clone wearing? Nine, Nothing. zero, freak. Nice. So I get a nine. Okay. Mark a condition, or I get to tell you how it doesn't work. I'm gonna go ahead and say afraid, because there's cloning. Okay. I don't like- I was spooked before, and this really just kind of ratcheted up the fear factor to 10, or 11. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so don't have me directly engaging a threat anytime soon. Yeah, so like I said, she's naked, so, you know, the plus side is you've seen Hard Frost's naked body now. Ew. Nice. nice. I'm unimpressed. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, she's she's gonna burst out of her cage. Um, you know, something, something, ready to rage. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and she rips off all the cables, like, from her head. And Come on, Jeezy Pete's. Her eyes are glowing, like, green. It's kind of weird. Oh, good. Um, green? Yeah. So what do I find out from the terminal? Uh, oh yeah. So, you find out that this subject is called Brain Freeze. Uh, okay, cool. And that it was taken from subject Heartfrost DNA only yesterday. And she's like a super amplified version of Heartfrost. Hey, Heartfrost! You sure you didn't give your DNA to anybody? Recently? No, I, I didn't. I, I don't know what you're talking about. This DNA sample was taken from you yesterday, which means they grew the more powerful more powerful version of you in one day, so that's that's one thing. She's called Brain Freeze, and um, yeah, so you want to rethink what you've been telling me this whole time? I, I have no idea. And then her eyes just widen, and she just like, cra like grasps her head, and you know, she, she looks like she's just gotten like a ripping headache. And you can see the clone behind her with, with her the hand, hand out. out. Yeah. She's called Brain Freeze. Oh. 
Yeah, and so you see sort of like green ice start to like come around like her, the temples on her forehead. Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna like, the nearest heavy object I can, I'm gonna throw at that naked heart frost. Brain freeze. Brain freeze. Naked heart frost. Same thing. Yeah, anyway. Great. So, okay, so... Directly engage a threat, Nick. Hell yeah. Uh, roll plus three. Oh, yes. Plus three? Jeez. Yep. Oh, damn it. Yeah, just re-roll that one. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh... Oh, okay. Go. Don't let me down, Dolly. Well, one of them is a two, so the other one better be better. Oh, that doesn't look good. Plus three. So we got that going for Yay. us, which is nice. Eight. Eight. So, so that's I'm six, use... seven, eight. Yes. <laughs> three, a two, well, and plus three. I'm actually going to use um, use my ability, which is one of my one of the bull moves, which is. In a china shop, when you directly engage a threat, you can cause significant or collateral damage to your environment and choose an additional option even on this. Ooh. So, I am going to directly engage a threat. I am going to cause significant damage to all the lab equipment and stuff around me. Uh, and I'm going to resist or avoid their blows. And I'm going to create an opportunity for heart frost. Okay. Nice. So she she launches a, like a green wave at you, you know, like a green like icicle wave, and uh, but you it. just like smack it away and you launch, you know, something big and metal at her. Probably the hunks of her of her case that she blasted apart. Ooh, hit her with her own cage. Remind her that she was controlled by somebody else. This is where you belong. <laughs> so it it clanks her in the head, but it just flies off. Um, yeah, and uh, and Heart Frost manages, and you can see the the green stuff s sort of like melt away from her face, and she looks like she's recovering now. And I'm going to try to. What about her opportunity? Her opportunity is that she's no longer brain frozen. I'm guessing. Yeah, she kind of like takes a chance to like scuttle away, I guess. Okay. So I'm going to do my "Are you watching closely?" move. You said that the in the in the china shop you're like destroying a lot of stuff though. Yeah. It's more than just you grab the nearest thing and chunk it because that's kind of like no. what your power was. It's anyway. collateral well, damage. Oh yeah, it, it, pro it probably like bounces off the the thing and hits something else, and then when I smash the other thing out of the way, it, it smashes through a couple of things. And probably like when I punch her, she flies through some more equipment, that sort of thing. Okay. So you know, it it clung it clanged off of her. And it hits a couple other of those like cases and cracks them open. Kiss. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep looking for information about these other test subjects. Okay. Um. So. So they have like information on her because her, you know, her case was like working and on. Yeah, yeah. The other ones, there's not, like, anything. Okay, so I'm panicking a little bit less about the fact that they're all, all of their cases have been smashed. So, oh, I'm also gonna yell, I'm also gonna yell, put some clothes on! And I, <laughs> and I decide to give the illusion that her machinery is on fire. I'm gonna use my "Are you watching closely?" move to try to make that happen. Okay. Uh, so that's a seven plus my superior. That's plus two, so that's a nine. Uh, so I get to choose two of the following: you get an opportunity, you expose a weakness or flaw, you confuse them for some time, or you avoid further entanglement. Uh, so I'm going to say that I expose. Oh, those are like literally unverbage shadows moves. Yeah. So I'm gonna say that I expose a weakness or flaw, and I confuse her for some time. Uh, okay. So, the weakness is that she's terrified of fire. Oh, shocker. Cool. 
And so she spends a good while trying to put out the fire with her ice. And you can see these fucking huge crystals forming where the ice is. And she's like, or where the fire is. And she's like mortified that it's not going out. Like, yeah, and the fire's getting bigger as she does that. Yeah. She has no idea why it's not working. But, you know, in like a minute she's going to figure yeah, it out. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, so, and I, and I yelled out to my buddy... If you're gonna do anything, now's the time to do it. Buddy. Cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna tackle her. Uh. Okay. S sounds like another directly engage a threat. Yep. Roll it. Ah, yes, that's my job. What's your danger, Nick? Plus three. Um. That you is. You have plus three six. to danger and. In uh, the other one? No, just danger. That is... What was your freak? Freak is one. Well, you... S I, haven't, I haven't been rolling with freak a lot. You can, I've been directly engaging threats this whole yeah. time. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so that is a six plus your three is a nine. Um... Is a nine. Can a hard frost use some uh, no, tool to help me out? I'm going to momentarily make the flames look like they're, like, coming towards her to create that last momentary distraction, since I know she's going to figure out what's going on as soon as it gets hot. Yeah, she's going to, like, try to put it out at her, at her feet. Um, yeah. So that's, I, I want to use my team to help him out. Sure. Yeah! <laughs> okay, so, so Rain Freeze tries to put out this fire at her feet. It's getting closer, and, and then, like, you see the realization hit her that it's just an illusion as you, you tackle her, uh, Jack Master. Yep. So, resist, avoid blows, and I'm going to impress the opposition. Okay. Alright. How are you going to impress her? Just amazing show of strength. I probably bust through like, uh, part of the machinery without even, like, slowing down, or as if it weren't even there. Uh, yeah. Wow. Pack flare, and I'm gonna do some, like, judo, whatever, throw. No, do Krav Maga. It's more, it, it's more impressive. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna do that, and okay. say, surrender now. So she We're takes, not here to fight you. She takes a glimpse at you, and she kind of blushes very similar to how Hard Frost does. Um, yeah, nice. Way to choose impress. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, and then she says, in a, like a really robotic sounding voice, like, I, I cannot allow this. I am brain freeze. I'm the protector of this facility. Okay. Well, I'd rather not have to hit someone as cute as you. Please stop this. Hey, so if we don't damage any more of the facility, then you don't have to fight us, right? Because if there's no damage, you don't have anything to protect. This one has already destroyed multiple units. Yes, but it also enabled you to do your job. Any damage to the facility uh, compromises security. my position. Uh, okay. Are you happy working here? Response. Who who are you? You look very similar to my friend there. As you I said see. you mentioned your brain brain freeze. Brain wash is more like it. Are you a clone? This is the name I was given. Who gave you the name? The father. <sighs> what does he look like? Does this father care about you? He has not expressed gratitude either way. I know not what he looks like. I know only the voice. Then why do you follow him? Because he made me. Well, now that you've he been- He made you, but then he doesn't- He's completely ignored you. Yeah, one day, dude. She, she's getting ignored in one day. Yep. 
I was created for the purposes of protecting this facility from threats like you. Just because that's what you were created for doesn't mean that's what you have to do with your life. You have the freedom to choose. I was also created in a facility much like this one. I was, I was given abilities like the ones you see now, but you, you don't have to, this, you don't have to do what your creator tells you. What do you want to be? What do you want to do? I want to please the father. I'm going to pierce the mask. Sure. Yeah. Roll. <laughs> Watch me fail. Yeah. Self-fulfilling prophecy! Nice. What'd you roll? Um, a four plus my mundane, which is the grand total of one. So five total? Nice. I mean, yes. But I get to mark potential! Yeah. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ha! Oh, that's, that's good. <laughs> They're all the same person, but slightly different. It'll be great. Up to two potential out of five. If you don't mind, I'd like to stop being interrogated and do my job now. And you're going to look down and see that your hands are frozen, Nick. Jeez. Oh, man, my hands are frozen? Well, you were touching my ice cream's body. Oh, damn. Okay, I'd like to, I'd like to make a fist in either hand and, and, and break the ice. <laughs> Wasn't that what the interrogation was for? <laughs> yeah, she already watched at you. Yeah. You're in it to win it. Take off your shirt! <laughs> Me? Yeah, maybe she'll think it's hot. Yeah, that would make actual hard for us very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> cool, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let go of her and, and break the ice in either hand. If we leave, will you let us go? I will have to inform the father. Yeah, okay, well, like he's not going to be informed by the broken machinery that somebody came in here. But can we leave if we don't damage anything else on our way out? You're still protecting. He'll have knowledge, and knowledge is power. I suppose. Hey, let's get out of here, gang. Nice to meet you, Brain Freeze. And I give her the little, like, salute as... I go to collect my friend. My friend and his girlfriend. <laughs> I was gonna say friends plural, but hard She nods and begins to inspect the broken machines with, like, bodies, like, stabbed through the glass. Great. Come on, guys, let's get going. I just negotiated us a peace treaty of sorts. Cool. I'm gonna see if, uh, heart frost is okay from the brain trees. Okay, well, we can check... Later, just get her out of here, pick her up, carry her, I don't care. She's gonna go okay, herself okay. and walk over to Rain Freeze. Hard Frost, no! Hard Frost, I will leave you here, I swear to God. No, you won't. I will! I don't care what you do! So she's, she's gonna say, so you're me? And, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and Rain Freeze just yes, like... Yes, I am. <laughs> yeah, gives her like I a, have you. a blank look like... I am I am not you. I am superior in every way. Your ice is merely blue where mine is green. Yes, because and the I color can, mean, though. I can affect the mind directly with my signature move, the brain freeze. And she's gonna kind of like, oh, I get it, heart frost brain freeze. Mm. And, uh, and so she's just... I add on my notes about the father lacks creativity. <laughs> you mean extremely <laughs> clever. Did bother programming my voice box? <laughs> Look, she didn't have time if to... If I'm happy about all of this, it's only because my programmers told made my voice sound this way. I'm actually quite depressed. <laughs> Thanks, uh, I've heard that claptrap line like a... Oh my time. god! Yeah, okay, <laughs> 25 cents in the reference jar. <laughs> Well, you know, she's existed for, like, less than 24 hours, so it's not like she's really had time to, like, develop her personality. 
She was only impressed yeah. with the essentials. The only personality she has now is like impressed Jack with Jack. Last session. Hmm. Kind of like Jack Masters last session. Yeah. Nice. Um. Okay, so she's just gonna like look sorrowfully at at you know her her comrades that some of them like extremely mortally injured. Okay, heart frost, let's go. Thanks to China Factory. Yeah. You know, whatever, China Shop guy. And when she looks mournfully, I give Jack a look like, God damn it. Guys, let's go, please. We can't help anybody if we're not alive, and she will kill us. Come on, Heart Frost, let's go. I have so many questions. Yeah, we I... can answer them later. Okay, um... Later, me. Be gone. Yeah, no pleasantries. Let's go. And we are gone. Uh, I did not expect you guys to do that. But it's my own fault for making the giggler squeal. Yeah! Okay, so now... You can't predict your PCs. They're an enigma wrapped ah. in a mystery, la wrapped in frustration. <laughs> frustration. Um, so yeah, you guys are headed back. Harfrost looks absolutely terrified. She, like, probably is never gonna hang out with you again. Um. So I go over to her when I see how shaken she is, and I say, look, I can't even imagine what it was like having to see yourself and then get attacked by yourself, and then, you know, whatever. Uh, but, uh... Thank you for keeping it together, and thank you for exiting finally. You know, uh, we really appreciate your help. Uh, yeah, I sort of wish I'd never seen that, really. Um, yeah, me too. We'll figure out who did this. Yeah, trust me, I'm not letting this go unanswered, and when I find out... I will keep you in the loop. Are you okay? Are you hurt from the brain thing that she did to you? Yeah, it, it actually still feels like I have a little numbness, but I, you know, it's not like a splitting headache like it first was. I'm guessing you don't want to go for ice cream. Please, no. My boss is making her own, haven't you heard? I don't say that in character. <laughs> I don't. I don't say that in character. That's the thought bubble. <laughs> Internal monologue. So. Oh my god, what if Heart Frost and Brain Freeze open up an ice cream parlor in the epilogue? Come on, let's get, let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah, and we limp towards, uh... We limp? We didn't take any damage. Well, yeah, I'm guessing she's limping a little bit. Or whatever. Okay, I'll, I'll carry her. Yeah. And, uh, wow. where do we go? Well, your hideout is, like, real close. Okay, well, let's go there, then. We can still get in without our Mystic Princess, right? Because it's the boulder that's the the barrier to entry. Well, you yep. know, the boulder. The boulder and the hiking and the lock, which I can pick. I feel like she would have given us a key. The folder is conflicted. Confused. Yeah, conflicted. That's oh my god. <laughs> ah, so good. The folder. Do we have to, uh. The folder has got <laughs> over it. It's <laughs> Do we have to, uh, put a 25 cents in the reference jar even if the same reference is being made multiple times? Probably. I feel like we do. <laughs> so. Yeah. So you guys are in your hideout now, and Harposs is like, wow, what is this? It's our hideout. Tell anybody what's behind the boulder, and I'll make sure that you never tell anybody anything again. The boulder. Hang, hang on. Yes. Hang on. Heart Frost is free, free to hang out with us whenever she wants to. Yes! Okay, fine. She can hang out with us, but, like, don't go spreading the word like, oh my god, these guys have a really cool hideout area. You should totally come check it out. Ooh, no well, the lion. Let's come here and make and out. I don't know. She's going to look at you absolutely disgustingly and, and say, you really think I'm that low of a person? 
No. You have any idea what I just went through? Look, I'm sorry. It's just... I honestly wasn't expecting any of that either. I'm still a little shocked. Gallows humor is my way of coping, and I'm not good with trusting people. It's not Do you really not want me thing. here because I can just go? You can stay, God. Look, I'm sorry. Because whatever I, I was going on in there... A little, a little freaked out. Yeah. I trust, I trust you. I've looked into all and of I, those and test tubes. And I know Celeste does too, in her own way. I, I looked into all those test tubes, and while I'm sure it can't compare to seeing yourself and getting attacked by yourself, it was not good. It was not okay. What they're doing there is wrong. Really wrong, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. She's just gonna glare at you and kind of huddle up to Goody Boy, Replica, Jack Masters, the bull. Nice. I immediately go towards the supercomputer and I assume I'm greeted with the rabbit on the system. There was a rabbit. Yeah, remember? It's like Jarvis, this, except it's a funny. Oh, yeah. What, what, like, season is this? Is it, like, autumn, winter, spring? It's a school year. It's the beginning of the school year, so... august -ish. I don't know, are we gonna do Japan style where it starts in the spring? Only if you want to. Honestly, that would confuse me a lot more. Yeah. Okay, it's, the, it's like, August then. Right on. Cool, I'm gonna bring her her favorite soda. Nice. Does it only sell in August? No. It's. I just know what, which one's her favorite. It's probably. Uh, it's probably Professor Pepper. Nice. Oh right. I need to bring her back up in the Urban Shadows game. That's Mr. Doctor Professor Pepper to you. <laughs> Mr. Doctor Professor Pepper. Perfect. So I'm immediately gonna go to the computer and start taking all the information that I could scrape off of that. The computer that I hacked onto my mini computer and trying to use the mega computer to parse the data because it has a more powerful processor. Okay, so it turns out that the, um, the reason you couldn't find the, the data on the other one was because it was super encrypted and your little mobile computer thing just didn't like know that how to recognize power. it. Yeah. So this supercomputer, it you know recognizes that it's at least encrypted. So if you're gonna, you're gonna have to like roll. Unleash your unleash powers to powers. overcome an obstacle. Yeah. I'm sorry. I always make you unleash your powers, but it's like... Nine! Nice. And plus one? And plus zero. So I'm gonna mark a condition. Yeah, he can't really help you with this, so... No. I'm gonna go ahead and do guilty, because I made Heart Frost feel real bad about herself. But you have, like, four conditions. I have three conditions! Yeah, she was just getting over her trauma and then you decided to be shitty to her. Yeah, well, I feel guilty about that, so shut the fuck up. Lay off my girl. <laughs> Lay off me! I'm the one who gave you a critical <laughs> opportunity! I like to remind I'm... our players that this is an Urban Shadows and the players are not supposed to be opposed to each other. <laughs> anyway, so, so you, you're successful. Yes. And you find out that these other, um, like, test tubes, sort of, were actually un inactivated clones. Or oh. yet to be activated, some of them. Oh. Okay. Um, so, were they, like, not conscious, they didn't have a brain yet, or, like, were they just not, like, awakened yet? Not, like, awakened. Like, they were just the vessels for now. Um, oh. So, like, super innocent. So did we just kill a whole bunch of people? You! Or... Yeah, Mr. Bouncing Around in the China Shop. Mm -hmm. You literally said that you're destroying a lot of stuff, and I wasn't gonna say, Hey, Nick, by the way, you're gonna break a bunch of... No, I knew it was probably gonna happen. I think once I realize it, I'm gonna mark guilty. Like, once, uh... You know, once what's her face tells uh, me. So, the, so apparently... Which you have inside to tell me? Oh, I'm telling you, right. I, I'm just reading out loud everything because, one, I want to show Heart Frost that I trust her. And two, because you need to know this, 
because this shows that it's bigger than everything. So uh, basically, in these tubes, um, there were more clones, and um, they just they weren't oh, awakened. Like classmates. Yeah, I mean nobody that I saw because I looked in. Were they classmates? No. No, I mean, no. Nope. You didn't recognize any. I didn't recognize anybody or anything in there, but. I mean, did you inspect every single one of them or just the ones along the way? Mm, I guess just did the ones along any, the way. Did you save any of the info you downloaded from the computer? I give you a look and I gesture towards the supercomputer. Yeah, you don't recognize any of the names on there. I mean, yeah. they would have been changed anyway, but like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean,. This, I, uh, I, of course, I saved it. How else would I be working on it? Some of the powers seem similar, but, you know, people just have similar powers anyway, so that yeah. might not mean anything. Yeah, what he said. So, uh, this is, this is big. Wait, so, you mean to tell me that, that I killed all those clones? Uh, I mean, I didn't see much of the damage. I was up in the terminal room, but did you, like, destroy their chambers? Uh, maybe two or three? They weren't, like, shattered to pieces. They're just... I, I, I mean, don't know. You saw the ones that Brain Priest was, like, attending to. Some of them, like, fell from their, like, weird, like, floaty wires thing, like, right onto glass. Oh. You know, like, the sharp kind. Oh. Jutting straight out. Why, like, why weren't there more guards at the gates? Um, I... Well, yeah. the guard that was posted there was moved to the other facility that you guys ransacked. Oh, right. That's literally yeah. what she said. Yeah. Um, probably because the giggler was there, and then she got moved to the new one because we were snooping around. Well, I, I mean, at least what you said, there were only two clones. If there were other people that we were fighting, there might have been more. I don't want to call them casualties, but I guess casualties. Like... Were they still, like, in formation? Like, they maybe didn't have brains yet, or they weren't fully built, or... They or, were... Or am I, am I just a killer? They were final stage, but you're not a killer. You... How could you have known? And anyways, whatever these people are doing Man, is... Manslaughter killed by accident. Whatever they're doing is way worse than whatever you may have done. There was no intention, uh, there was action, but there was no intention, and you were trying to protect us, and you did. Well, that's definitely me trying to comfort or support him. <laughs> Roll away, I was about to tell you to do it anyway. A one? Oh, so spinny. Right? Double, it's a snake eyes. God oh. fucking damn it! That was such a good comfort or support, too! Oh, man, it's... God Super so, so this is that guilty. Yeah, feel free to mark another one. Yeah, I'm marking guilty. Oh, I thought you already had it. No, I, I didn't yet. I was gonna see like if that comfort support went through, but now I'm gonna feel guilty for sure. Okay. All right. So what's this the effect of the? Oh, but I get two potential. So how bad is it? Oh, hey, I only need one more potential to... Oh, I was just going to say that the bad thing was he marks another condition. Oh, you mark two conditions. Well, like, guilty and another one. Yeah, you, I think I thought you already said that you marked guilty. So if not just guilty, you're going to mark something else. Um, oh, let's go with... Helpless, maybe? Uh, like, insecure. Like, you feel like maybe you're not... Super in control. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Sorry. But your friend has marked so much potential. Yeah, that makes me feel great. Yeah. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I have three conditions, so I'm right there with you. Uh, eventually, she'll nice. be able to just like shift her own labels up. 
and maybe she'll give herself a couple freak. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Add another one to mundane. Oh yeah, that might be useful. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. Well, I don't. Oops. I clicked out of the Twitch. <sighs> I'm. I just. I don't know what else to say. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I think that was more than any of us expected. I'm sorry, Black Frost. I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't. No, I, I didn't expect to see you. It's Pardon? okay. I guess. I'm still a little shaken myself. Yeah, I don't think any of this is okay. What should we do? I don't know, you guys are the killers. Ah, he is the killer! Wow. Wow! <laughs> that sounds like... Uh, so I'm gonna watch the team. Are you guilty? Uh, yeah, no, I don't say that out loud, because the DM, the voice of God doesn't come down and is like, you guys are the killers. Congratulations. I mean, I have a yeah, voice. Somebody told me that you had a girlfriend. <laughs> like a you killed so many people, you might as well be singing Mr. Brightside. Because you're the killers. Aww. I just Aww. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. When you were young is better. Mr. Brightside is the ultimate banger. Mr. Brightside is one lyric for the it entire song. It is the goddamn jam. Generations will remember Mr. Brightside. Same thing with that other one that starts with us. Um, um, whatever the other one is. It's not when you were young, it's the other banger that, by the killers. Uh, not Mr. Brightside, but um, oh, it starts uh, with some... Oh, somebody told me. Somebody, somebody told, me. told me. Yeah, that's a, another thing. It's like the exact same song. <laughs> yeah. Where it's like one lyric for the entire... Uh, anyway. Anyway. I digress. Yeah. So, yeah... No. Well, we should probably definitely tell, like, some sort of, like, authorities about this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Look at this for a second. Do you see all of that funding? It's gotta come from somewhere. And who's gonna stop it? We couldn't stop it, and we have powers. Well, you think the bureaucracy I mean, and red tape is gonna stop this? God. I mean, how do, how do you think I got taken down? Yeah, okay, but that was a small... I mean... How... I, I don't know. Look, I don't know. I just... don't think that there's gonna be anybody who is going to either A, be able to help us, or B, be willing to help us. Uh, no? You mean the... the, the evil lab full of... that grows metahumans isn't going to maybe, like, make some of the people who are you know, a bit worried about that, like, concerned? What, you want me to put it I on my- I do something about it. What, you want me to put it on my blog? Is that how you want me to spread the word? No, I want you to give an anonymous tip to the police. Okay, yeah, because the police are gonna help us. God, I can't even believe the suggestions that you're giving me, and tell me that's enough to mark well, you. Well, clear the, angry. The, then the police- Then the po- what? Hurt oh, somebody. Oh. No? He is, he's not even buying it. You know what, if, if you think that that's the course of action, then you can take care of that, and you can do that. I don't think it's gonna work. I think it's a stupid suggestion, and quite frankly, the word super weapon brings one thing to mind. The government. And if the government is behind this, going to the police isn't gonna help shit. Harfoss is gonna pipe up and say, what about our teachers? Maybe. But even then, I mean... What are they gonna do, stick the father in solitary? Also, the question is like, how did they get your DNA? Right? Yeah. I it's have no idea. Yesterday. Yeah. Trip to the nurse? Like... Think through this. You, Were you, you, you hanging out with anybody? You called Jack yesterday. What were you up to? Oh, I was just hanging with Nova Lion. Okay. Well, is it possible that Novaline could have gotten your DNA somehow from like a stray hair left on a pillow or something? 
And I don't mean like a bedroom pillow, get your head out of the gutter. I mean like a couch pillow or whatever. I don't know how you hang out with him. It's not my business. I just wanted to go see a movie. Right. That's it. Okay, well, did you feel like a weird plucking sensation from your hair? Or... No, no, he's, there's no way it's him. Did you throw away your cup? Or did you get like a beverage? Of course I did. Do you keep your cups? Well, what I'm saying is somebody could have taken it out of the trash can and they could have gotten your saliva. Jesus. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't think it was Nova. Line. <laughs> I'm not saying it was Nova line. I'm just saying think no, through what you've done. More likely, she was tailed by someone. I, look, I, all I remember is just you know going to school like normal, and I you know I called Jack. And then he didn't pick up, so I decided to go with the movies with Nopaline instead. That's it. I went home and to bed after that. I, <laughs> nothing happened. Is there a timestamp on when the project was initiated? Yeah. Yes! What's the timestamp? It's about the time that she was uh, at the movies. God damn it. Well, the timestamp shows it was about the time you were at the movies. And yeah, you were in a public place, so like, no, I'm not jumping to just blame Nopaline, but... Something that happened at the movies. What movie did you see? Maybe I can get into um, the, the, the ticket database. Uh, and I can try to see who was there and do some cross-referencing with the criminal databases here and see if it's some minor real and working for him or... It was it was that new one, Uniters of the Universe 2. Uh, that's so cheesy and such a gross misrepresentation of what superheroes actually do. <laughs> Great. I think it portrayed the villain very well. Shut up, I haven't seen it. <laughs> Great. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and do that and see if I can find anything, okay? Uh, just sit tight, kitties. Unleash my powers. Wow, again. And do I have to? To do what? To get the ticket database and get names. Uh, no. Haha. <laughs> Great, so I do that and I'm cross referencing. Does anything ping as suspicious? It's just. It wasn't like particularly packed. It wasn't like sold out or anything. It's been okay. a couple weeks of it airing, so she kind of saw it late. But it's, it's like her and Nova Line and then, you know, random other people. Okay. Some from your class. That's, you know, whatever. Nothing, nothing is like. This is a villain name, you know? Yeah. It's just a list of names. No, 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 I'm saying, like, any criminal oh, records. Oh, one of them says brain freeze. No, 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 I just mean, like, are there criminal records so I have a starting point of people to ask? Uh, I mean, you're kind of all criminals, so... Yeah. Like, half the people have a criminal record. Yeah, I guess, because, I mean, I'm hacking into a database and I could potentially use the credit card numbers, but I'm not going to because I'm trying to be a hero. Wow. Wow. How else would I get it? How else would I get the information? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I I delete the data when I'm done with it. I don't keep it on whatever computer I have. Yeah, nothing really stands out. I mean, you see that their names are there and some various other people from your class, so mm -hmm. I guess you could, like, ask them if you want. Yeah. Okay, cool. I don't know what else to do here, guys. We need to tell Mystic Princess, probably before we make any more moves. She's gonna want to know what's down with the club. And apparently about our newest member, maybe? It's like super late, by the way. It's like two in the morning. Oh. You know, because you guys went from one facility yeah, yeah. to the other immediately, and it was like a hike all the way across yeah, yeah. the mountain. It's like really fucking late. So I look at my watch and I say, oh, God damn it, another curfew violation. As long as I don't get caught, I don't care. Whatever. Nick, are you still there? Ah, crap. Do the old... Do the old disconnect, reconnect. Yeah, hang up a roo. Oh, oh no, 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 cancel. Just click cancel. Oh. Hello. Hey, sorry about that. Hello. Hi. Hi. Yeah, it's super okay. late. It's 2 a.m. In game. In game. Let's let's get you back home. Let's get you back home fast for us. Uh, I don't know if I can geez. like sleep.
tweet ever again after what I saw. That's fair. Well, I mean, Hardbox and I have seen some pretty awful stuff from yeah, but seeing, like, previously, but this is also like very personal. Yeah, seeing yourself like that, that can't be a, a, a party. Yeah. I don't. Okay, well, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get her home, and I'm gonna go home. Great. I'm gonna just camp out in the Fortress of Solitude so I don't get caught. Cool. You're super sneaky, so you don't get caught, Nick. Nice. <laughs> yeah, good thing you studied gymnastics or whatever. Um, oh, yeah. Celeste. Yes. You get a text from Elliot. Oh. About some interesting breaking news. Uh, He's I... a reporter. Oh. Or at least is like working for like a news company. Yeah, okay. I get the text. Presumably he's still awake. I call him. Elliot. Big news? Tell me everything. Yeah, so... That Ash Manning guy? Yeah? Yeah, they just found like his body. Oh, you know, like fuck. The river. Wait, what? Hey, hey, oh, hey, 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 hey. Fuck. Hey, repeat all that because you guys, because you guys cut out. Well, technically, she's on a phone call mm -hmm. with another with person, Elliot. And you're in your house. Oh, okay. So I don't know. Yet. And your shirts, they're sure it's Ash. Well, looks just like him. You don't know how little that means to me right now. Uh, but thank you. Thank you for letting uh, me know. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, can I can I call you back tomorrow? Uh, I need some time to process. He was a classmate. Sure. Great. And if you find anything else out, please, please, please let me know. Yeah, uh, definitely. Thank you. You are the best. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so sorry. Okay, bye. And I immediately text my 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 team guys. They found Ash's dead body in a river, the river. Oh, okay. Can you toss me that charger? Uh, where is it? It's right there. I'll hand it to you because I don't trust myself. Cool. <laughs> what do you say, Jack? Masters. Uh, I say, I say piss. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> I'm sitting in stunned silence, hands through the hair, just looking at my phone. <laughs> All right, well, this is where we're going to end the session. Yeah, I felt um, like it was a really good dramatic ending. Yeah, yeah. and so... I was like, <laughs> Yeah. I don't know what to say. No, that's going to be a whole other... Another thing. Can of worms. So, the ending panels. Yeah. We see, we see Brain Freeze in the facility, and you can see sort of like in those like, like phone call style boxes where they're all like jagged, mm -hmm. um, and like super bold, like italic words, um, like some sort of ominous voice is talking, and it's, it's a and he's saying, um, Brain Freeze, you've done well today. You may have failed in your mission, but you've proven your abilities well for your first day. So I will not be eliminating you. Oh, Don't forget your purpose. We will bring right to this world. Oh, an extremist. We will take apart all the crime in, in this fallen world. Do not forget this. Ah. You can see Brain Freeze is just nodding, and she's sort of reporting the casualties. Um, oh. Units 36 and 35 are down, 34 is, is seriously wounded, but none of the other activated units, uh, inactivated units um, were touched. And that's where we end up. Dun dun dun! Awesome. So, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, we wait, wait. Oh end god, I'm sorry! Moves, my god. Let me go, I'm sorry, I'm trying to promote I'm the DM. our channel. I'm the DM! Yeah, okay, but I'm, I'm in charge of promoting this shit. So, end of session. 
Do you grow closer to the team, grow into your own image of yourself, or grow away from the team? I'm going to go ahead and say that I grow closer to the team. Okay. What made you feel welcome? I think it wasn't so much feeling welcome as it was the fact that... I mean, that I had the, a successful temporary support. Well, actually, I mean, no. Like, when you said that I was cool and what I did was cool, that was... That definitely... That actually did feel welcoming, but also it was the way that we worked together to stop brain freeze you know it was like i did the distracting you did the punching it worked very nicely and it made me feel like i was really part of the team yeah nothing makes you feel closer to your team than watching your you know your teammate mortally wound lifeless bodies i mean i didn't see that part happen so okay and uh jack Ma oh so you get to give influence to him which you already have yeah. and clear a condition or mark potential yes oh this is a doozy. Your choice. Because I have one more potential mark before I take another advancement. Wow. Yeah. So you get to pick the deck. Nick, what are you going to do? I'm wow, gonna... I only have one potential. You're already, like, nearly twice as much potential. I'm a failure! You succeeded, like, all your roles. Yeah, because Nick keeps doing, um, directly engage a threat, which mm -hmm. he has plus three to, and you keep doing unleash your powers, which you have a plus zero to, so. It's... Well, I mean, I, I kept trying to do, like, comfort and support, and, you know. Didn't work that well. No, I mean, you failed that too. You failed a lot of ticket powerful blows as well. I'm gonna get rid of guilty. She also got a double. She, you know, she like. I got a double one. She got a critical fail, so. Yeah. Yeah. So you're gonna clear so, guilty. Yeah, I cleared guilty. Okay. I'm still angry and afraid. Honestly, I probably grow into my own image of myself. Okay. So that and means. That is. My savior goes down. Yeah. Uh, okay. Something goes up as well. And you have to explain why. Uh, oh shit, I do have plus three to freak. I thought I didn't. So you have three to freak and danger. What? Why do I have plus three to freak? I thought I didn't. No, I have plus three to freak and danger. I don't know how that happened. That, should, that can't be right. It could be. No, it's gotta be, it's gotta be plus one. There's no way. Okay, uh, so, you know, what are you gonna shift up? So my su my savior goes down to minus two. Ooh. I think that's fair. Yeah. And my... Mm, my freak's gonna go up to plus two. Alright. Okay. Alright, and so why? I mean, it's pretty obvious to me, but, you know, just say it. Freak because I can't control myself and saving goes down because I freaking killed some people. And I feel like shit. P people. Even though even though I saved my my girlfriend from having her, her her brain frozen solid, I still ended up like hurting people. Yeah, good thing you saved her. Was she gonna die? No, no. But you did save her brain. Yeah, that's true. Uh, at least there's a backup now. She almost got iced. Oh. Damn. <laughs> also, the, the, the freaking hard frost clone right. blushing. You're right. <laughs> you chose Impress. You did. I don't know why. Jack, Jack Masters is just hot. Well, because I didn't want him to be like scared of me and then like a, a lash out at me or something i was i was gonna try to get her to like stand down we're not your enemy we're here to free you from this evil prison yeah on the back cover of this of this issue you see um <laughs> it's it's sort of like the the new like my hero academia uh like cuts between uh commercial breaks and it's it's mm -hmm. like a stats page and it's a brain freeze oh Good thing it's on the back. Oh, does does she have uh, does she have all A's in all six categories? <laughs> kind of like the joke, kind of like the stance. Oh god, I forget what what are those all? Growth potential, range, power, speed, ac uh, precision, and what's the other one? There's six, right? You, you can you can make we should make a stats page for oh, the brain freeze. Yeah, I know. Now I I want to put them in this little like notebook now. Nice. Her type is ice psychic. Ooh. Like a like a like Pokemon. A Pokemon. Yeah. Nice. And the little blurb says, like, creates green eyes notably stronger than her her base, Heart Frost. 
That was cold, Matt. Okay, now I get that, because we were making ice puns. Yes. Thank you. Um. <laughs> Origin unknown. Ooh, dun-dun-dun! Dun-dun-dun. Works for some mysterious entity called the Father. Mm. Nice. Good session. Yeah. Yup. Kicking ass, taking names. Now can I do my spiel? Yeah, go ahead. Yes! Time for me to do the spiel. So... Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, we love having you guys in the chat. We love, you know, getting to interact with you guys. If you want to interact with us further, um, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. We have past sessions on YouTube. Um, oh, Instagram, we also have that. We haven't updated that in a while. Um, Gus, to answer your question, yes, next stream will be on Tuesday. That will be Urban Shadows. That will be at somewhere between 7.30 and 8 p.m. Um, trying to shoot for 7.30, but might need to be 8 p.m. depending on schedules. Mm -hmm. um, and then we will have this again, 8 p.m., masks there's, on Saturdays. There's theoretically, there And I'll be live. Yes, Nick will be live, so tune in, see his face. Don't forget there will be a bonus stream yes. on Wednesday or Thursday. It'll be just me and Jelly, and we're going to go over whatever the secret thing that happens with her character while you guys were yes. finding more about the world. And uh, I'll announce that on the social media, which is another incentive to go ahead and follow it. Um, yeah, make sure y'all follow us here, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that... Duh. Duh. <laughs> um, but thank you guys so much for tuning in. Have a great weekend. Um, and we can't wait to see you guys again at our next stream. Bye. Bye. Oh, I have to click the button. I'm sorry, guys. I'm new to this. Uh...